How's everyone doing? Tonight we're playing a little bit of Moss Rancher. We're playing some Moss Rancher 2, to be precise. We are doing preseason matches for matches, matches even, for the Monster Rancher DXBL Season 3. This is the preseason, and we're going into it. So most of these monsters are monsters we've seen before. I think all of them, except for like three or four, are monsters we've seen before. I want to play video games. Fuck if you this time for sure, Linux will win totally right, guys, right? Okay, he will win. JP, you're lucky I even let you in the tournament after you screwed up uh, the form. You've been doing this for years, and you still can't fill out a form correctly. I can only blame the Florida education system and the keyboard juice so much. 32 monsters, we might be able to get away with doing this um, not fast motion. Middleweight does take much less time on average than lightweight, so... There's more potential for like one hit kills and stuff like that. Why is my... Uh, Looks like this is like very far over my camera. I want to play video games. And just this little Gold bit. Pass gifted a tier a sub to Bahamut Smash. That's not bad. Hey, thank you, GoPaws. Wow, you've been giving a lot of gift subs lately. That's very kind of you. Okay. I think that looks a little bit better. I'm a little bit more centered. You can still see a boy, actually. I'll put him right there. Hell yeah. Well, and then as soon as I move, he's out of the way. Good luck, my city is rancher. That is uh, White Orson, I do believe. Why would I fill it up properly when I can instead annoy you? Next time you don't do it correctly, I'm actually going to DQ you just because you said that. All right, here we go. Yeah, I love doubt. Oh, get some of the diving press. GG's, brother. Oh, there's the grit. He's not out yet. You got to kill Big Garfield. Oh, shit, he's got dragon combo and tail attack. That's a pretty fun build, but uh, he needs to actually land the attack. They both got that one hit potential. This guy only having 660 life and no speed is very spook. Do we see dragon combo this time? We do. Yeah, that's definitely a kill. There's no way he survives that. 800 damage, no crit. Don't think I've ever seen that golem. That was fun. I like that he's got like the the stark white shoes. Cyclone? Oh no, you walked back into cyclone range. GG's. The another grit though, he's not out yet, baby. He's not out yet. Do we see another drain combo? He's right on the edge of being able to do it. What do we got? Bite? Uh probably not the play he wants, but three bites will do it. There's the second one, maybe four, yeah. He's withering a tiny bit. Oh, he gave his opponent power. <laughs> power has never mattered less. All right, and the tail whip. Do we see a grit, though? No grit. Rank and smog with the slow comeback. Grits in both his games. And the third one, he makes it happen. Remember when Engine had the good old pot man for the 420 turning? Pot man. Okay, Lumber Louie and Hayabusa. We got more golem action. I like how there's Lumber Larry and Lumber Louie. Are they, uh, was it the same trainer for both? I remember Lumber Larry from competitive play too, so. I wanna play video oh shit! Bullfrog 44 gifted a tier a sub to mana 5. No, it's not Kuzanoa. We know Kuzanoa, it's stall. Thank you, Bullfrog, very kind of you. You only did Louie? Yeah, so this is, uh, Kuzanoa is a very old member of the community. I'm actually curious before we start this. Oh, it's just sitting in their freezer. Okay. Damn, everyone's running defense, eh? Okay, so that goes to the, the Dragon. Predictions live, who do you like here? Golems make me smile, and they're Fujita's favorite breed. They are. Golem gets a lot of love. So there are a few Durhams this turning? Yeah, there's quite a few. 
I don't know how many hangers there are, but I know uh, Oakville's in the tournament, and I know I if both my monster and Oakville round, uh, win their round one, they got to fight each other. I'm going to make another middleweight, but I didn't have the time. Would have been perfect for all these tanks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's very easy to be like, oh, man. Now that I know what the meta is, I could have built something that would win. <laughs> Though, despite the fact that that golem was built to beat tanks and he still lost. Rolling slash, chopping down the tree. How much damage? Ooh, 290. Not quite enough. Lumber Louie, what you got? Another rolling slash is what you got, but you got a big guts lead this time. You gonna survive it? Not on a crit, he's not. Hindsight is very powerful in 2997, it's true. Hindsight is 2997. That was the better joke. Ooh, the diving press. How much? 891. Still in there. Our slash can do a little bitty bit of damage. Two in a row. Into the rolling slash. He'll need a crit to kill here. Where's he got? Oh, maybe not. Just barely enough. Damage roll. Okay, so that's a 2-0. Hayabusa's moving on. Kruger and Ritzgal. Kruger is Goat's new monster. I gotta make a, a monster named Sprainerd, and then Sprainerd and Kruger can fight. It's a very specific reference. I don't think many people are gonna get it, but it's, it's funny if you get it. You sun 1-1? One, one, you did. Alright. Prediction is live. Who do you like out of these two? He's named after a Super Sentai character. I know, the, the Wolfman, right? Alright, update in bracket. As we go. Doggy Kruger. I th I love that his name is Doggy. That's so goofy. What a great show. 50-50 on the bets. About 60% on Kruger as things close. Oh, it's got the build? It's got the Centaur build. A little bonk smash. Definitely not the move it wants to use here. Slash combo 37%. Big swing and miss. Death thrust. Yeah, that's gonna do a gajillion damage. 835. No crit necessary. This is middleweight. This is what happens in middleweight. The no speed build is pretty good. But it can lose. Oh, hits the slash combo 33%. That's absolutely going to kill, but there's the grit. Still in it. Doggy's still in it. Triple stabs miss at 99%. Oh my lord. All right, hits the second one. Not going to do a ton of damage. Crits? Actually, that's a pretty big crit. That's not too bad. You see another slash combo to do one damage? We see the attempt. <laughs> what do we see from Kruger? Rear leg kick? Not what it wants. Got to sneeze. Crits for 230. So Kruger's hitting a lot of crits. Damn. Oh, the grit! It's not over yet! I was gonna say, imagine dodging 99 and you still lose. I've been there. 51% on cutting too? Ah, uh, Ritzgal. Gonna take game number two. We're going to game three. Getting it out of the way early? Yeah, we got a very early 99 miss. Cutting two. 249 puts him in the yellow and gets power. Very funny with Death Thrust. This would do roughly 2,000 damage. Completely unnecessary, but uh, it's funny. When it happens at the end, if both of them have 1 HP, whoever has the lower maximum HP will win due to um, 1 being a bigger percentage of their maximum health pool. So Kruger would have won that one because one percent on him is much higher. Or sorry, one life on him is much a higher percent than it would have been on the monster with nine hundred ninety-nine life. 
Okay. Who's next? Sir Gala Slam and Troa. That might be enough to search for it. More dragons. This one's speedy, though. Tiebreaker's health percentage up to two decimals. After that, there's some screwed up tiebreakers. Yeah. If it's still tied to two decimal places, what it does is it compares the amount of guts each monster used, it compares damage dealt, and it compares um, hit percent. And whoever wins two out of three of those is the winner. Okay, prediction is live. Speedy Dragon with the really shitty guts rate. That's actually going to make him even harder to hit. Basics Joker. Troa has Death Slash, I think. Guts used, aka the good luck, have fun special. Yeah. Have you ever seen a match of both monsters doing the same? Can you actually draw? Yeah, it says draw, and both monsters look sad when it happens. If you do it in the one player game, it just awards you the win anyway. But in this, it just says draw. And because there's no scoring system outside, like within the game, and all the scoring we do is outside the game, we literally call it a draw and we redo it. It's very rare, but it does happen. It happens mostly when both monsters miss at like every attack. Death Punch. 49%. It's pretty accurate still. Oh, yeah, okay, it does have Death Smash and Death Slash. Thank you, no problem. Yeah, anybody have any questions, that's what me and Chad are here for. You seen dragons you haven't seen before? Or seen monsters you haven't seen before? Yeah, this is, uh... This is a pretty cool dragon. Dragon Durahan. Big damage on the slamming... Oh, that's right. It's not slam him down anymore. Would it be good in this format? It's pretty good in most formats. How much could a woodchuck chuck? Depends what kind of wood. Are we talking about Lumber Larry or Lumber Louie? It's the Death Smash. Big damage there. Look at that. Why did they have to change it? I don't know. Wing attack's going to take it. Sir Gala Slam taking game number two. So, hold on. Did he win game one? I've already forgotten. It's 1-1, one, one, right? Yeah, okay, it's 1-1. One, one. Ape is solidly mid-tier-ish. Yeah, Ape's got a lot of good options. And his basics are very strong. He's just not, like, unfair. Like a couple of the other monsters are. Like Joker or Color Pandora. Or golem. Apes like what I consider the cutoff of like what is no longer top tier or high tier. He's like king of like the low tiers, the mid tiers and the low tiers. Ape one welterweight, yeah, you can do it. The fury proc, the trample in ninety seven. Oh, Sir Gala Slam got him with the Gala Slam. It was an honest Foozies character who can play neutral. Yeah, he's got the Foozies. He's got the Hansies too. All right. Um, give me some sip and tiny mat up next. This is the the blood suction gel, right? Oops. Dicey? Yeah, Dicey one. That was uh, JP's. Tiny Mat. That's a good name. Like Tiny Tiamat? Okay, uh, choose who I like there. That goes to the Dragon. Predictions live. Who do you like here? Monkey Strong. It's funny, uh, when I held the first Deluxe Cup, 
Japan was like joking that like we don't understand like the West doesn't understand how strong ape is because no one in the entire deluxe cup entered an ape except for like two Japanese players. And then one of them made like top eight, but it lost anyway. So <laughs> I'm sorry. I forgot to tell Japan that we're doing these tournaments again. I should probably make a note about it in their server. Okay, we've got 78% on a tiny mat. Japan didn't understand how good Nighton is, so it's fair, yeah. Stab, miss. Let the JP community know. The Pierce kills enough? Wow. I'm sorry, buddy, you got smoked. We both know how good Dragon is, so it's even. Yeah. It was actually really interesting hearing their thoughts on our monsters, because they're like... Why, why do their monsters have so many techs? But it's because they're not used to 3500, right? They're used to 2997 or something like this, where it has to be like hyper-optimized, because you're going to get like one shot. How does Japan feel about Arrowhead? They know he's broken. But they're like, how come this monster's got like six techs? Like, what's up with that? And it's because it's a different format. You have more time. Granola and Quack Attack. I think it's 2Ks, right? Or is it just K? Differences between the two communities are super interesting. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Okay. Predictions live. Who do you like here? There's other things. Like, Japan thinks Mew is a lot worse than we think Mew is. To be fair, I don't think Mew is extremely good in 2997 whereas i think it's very very strong in 3500 does japan make as many meme builds they make significantly more japan's interesting because there is a contingent of the community that is like extremely try hard and a contingent of the community who has never made a monster they're much more extreme than us on both sides use good and lightweight too yeah you, you have interesting mixed attacker options I'm the spiral dive. Spiral dive. You will never see so many one HP cyclone golems. Yeah. It's important to be silly once in a while. It is. Yeah, there's so many one life builds. Okay. So, Color Pandora taking game one. Yipe. the horn smash there goes all your guts your body your guts kid but granola still has like 90 percent chance to hit with everything J selvius would be right at home in the jp tourney selvius has one jp tourneys or like gotten like top two i got top two in a jp tourney once yipe is a top five monster sound i think it's my favorite in the entire game i think it's better than it like s lightly ekes out jill the I think it's slightly better than that. Okay, uh, let's go, whoa, bub, holy Christ, and Annie. I saw this one. This is a blue Kato, right? Annie is the mono, right? How good is Jill in middleweight? It's probably its worst format. Okay. 
start a prediction. Jill's whole thing, Jill's biggest weakness is that it doesn't have a good intelligence build and it doesn't have a good power build, but it has a good mixed attacker build. If you take some of its intelligence techs and some of its power techs, you can make a very strong Jill build, which is why I think he's fantastic in lightweight. That's why I won the tournament last time. Let's go, baby. Let's go, big Uncle Pete. But uh, in the other formats, I think he struggles because he can't run both offenses. Lily also has some good names. You guys like the oohs, eh? All right. 68% on the Wolverine over in the corner there. If you wait 100 life mixed attacker, God bless. That sounds awful. Why do the other formats not have mixed attacker rules? To mix it up. The double flattening gave him the big squeeze. If the mixed attacker rule was in every format, I think we'd see a lot m less variety than we currently do. Also, 4,500 stats on a heavyweight monster is hell, yeah. With how short the lifespans are... It's very easy to max out a monster, but it's not very easy to max out a monster... ...like, weekly, for tournaments, you know? Oh shit, the Drill Claw? Alright, 38% Drill Claw is enough. If Macho was like, next month I'm doing a max stats tournament, I would be like, okay, I can make something for that. And then if, when that tournament was over, he's like, I'm announcing another max stats tournament, I'd be like, I don't know if I have the energy in me to make another one. <laughs> Probably just be Phoenixes and Undines if Alternatives had mixed attacker rules. Who would win, Doodle vs. Kamui? <laughs> oh, that's close. The Needle Stabs. And he's gonna take that one. And he's a very strong monster. He's done very well in the past. You guys didn't believe in the wall. Uh, Enoch and Froster Shock. Froster Shock, is that going to be a tiger? Enoch is a Naga because JP doesn't like fun. He likes to try hard. And, uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Frosto. Frosto would be a good name too. Frost or Sick? Oh my god. Oh shit! Okay. I don't think I've ever seen a uh, Jelly Hound in competitive play. That's pretty cool. Prediction is live. I always like it when I see a monster I've never seen in comp play. I try to make monsters I've never seen in comp play, just to see them. Yeah, Gel Sub is like... In competitive play, there's absolutely no reason to ever run it, other than you like the way it looks. I ever play Monster Hunter and think Monster Penis? There's a lot wrong with that. We're not even playing Monster Hunter. I just make stuff I think looks cool? Yeah, me too. Sometimes I try hard, though. I try harded this tournament. Not for this tournament in particular, but I did make a try hard middleweight. Okay, 58% on Frost or Sick. Frost or Suck. Get him with the Suck. The big blizzard. Damn. Hits him with the crit for 460. Stab's gonna miss. Tail Assault. Oh, you know what? Lightning's actually gonna be pretty good here. It's gonna do a decent amount of withering. Minus 30 guts. So Enoch gets anger. Hasn't actually landed anything yet. Um... His guts are going up pretty quick, but he's only got about a 10 guts lead at this point after attacking twice and missing twice. Hits the tail assault, it's enough. You only got to hit once. Froster Mac and Cheese, I was thinking that too. I play with my phase. I'm excited that a monster I love is good middleweight. Yeah, Celius is pretty strong. The Toyn Assault. There's the grit. He got smoked, but he's got... 50 guts. He goes for the blizzard, hits it again, another crit. Look at that. And just like that, he's got a 10 guts lead. It's close to being able to kill. Now at bolt, but that's going to do a lot of withering. If he can keep him locked out, he's got a shot here. Ice bomb might kill on a crit here. 
But uh, Thwack will definitely kill regardless. All right. Enoch doing doing Naga things. That went to the Naga. That's not too surprising, I don't think, for most people. Deo and was once a worm. Wait, I always spelled Deo. Too many A's. Deo. Deo. Yeah, my fault. Yeah. Okay. Start a prediction. I love Purebred Beaclon's card. Like, it's just... He's so out of it. Like, he doesn't want to be there at all. Okay, what do we got on this? No thoughts, head empty. I just want to grill, for God's sake. Oh, you got the punch combo? Okay, smoked with the charge. That's big damage. Oh, it gives him vigor? Gives him anger. Horn strike, 56%. It misses. He still has, like, a 30 guts lead, though. Misses it again. All right. No guts lead anymore. Brow hit? It's not going to be enough. I was once warm, still hanging on. And he's going to get smoked again. I would love Bajaral only tourney. I don't like any, like, all monster tourneys. We ran it once, and then I was okay with it. But I try not to enter, or I try not to run tournaments that I personally wouldn't want to enter. People really want to see it, but just watch boxing. <laughs> he got brow science, he did. I love Bajaral, and that would suck. Caught the million wish tourney. I think uh, the issue is that Bajaral doesn't have a lot of good stuff, right? So you'd see mostly the same build over and over again. Into the slap. Okay, so was once a worm just decided not to attack. Oh, he's got the grit, and he's got the life lead. Here we go. He's got a shot. He's walking backwards. He's walking the wrong way. He swings the punch. It misses. Do we see a punch combo? Do we see anything? Well, he tried. Not hard, but he did technically try. Deo is going to take that one. That was pretty unfortunate. Guac and Big Beat. All right. I got to fight Guac. Draw subs only? That could be interesting. When you miss every attack over two games, that's how it's going to be. It's true. All right, where is he? Do I not have big beat on this file? I would have failed. I I don't... Do I really not have big beat on this file? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I got... I got eliminated from the tournament. He's like the only... I do have him on a file. Stream over Nash Band? Oh no. I'm kind of surprised I don't have him on my first file though. Nash, I need to report someone for not correctly submitting a monster? Oh no. Can't even follow my own rules. I think he's the only competitive monster I have that's not on file one. There we go. Okay. Walk attack. Walk attack. JP, shut the fuck up. Okay. Start prediction. Who do you like? It's got a little bit of speed. It's not going to matter a whole lot. A little bit of defense, though. Probably couldn't have gotten rid of it. Usually when a monster has like 300 defense or something like that, it's because they legit couldn't get rid of it. And I believe it. Especially on a gel. 
Okay, so what do we have on the prediction? 66% on Guac. Like scale gel? Yeah, he's fluorescent. Punch gonna do a little bit of damage. Two punches? Give him the lead! Give him the lead! Here comes the suffocation, no breathing. Two in a row? Call that shit the Jacoby. Yay! Robo Doge, thank you for the follow. We're gonna hit a laser cutter though. It was 630. Kind of look like a lush pond. Yeah, it looks like little, um, what do you call it? Lily pads. That's suffocation. Into the laser cutter, same thing. 666? Oh no, he's been cursed. He's been cursed! GG's. I'm sorry you got cursed. Hey, boo boo. Okay, Broboskis in Oakville. Wait, is Oakville a tank? I think Oakville's a tank. Broboskis might win a match. I don't remember. I know Oakville's the automaton. Fuck, it's this shit. It's one of these. One of them's a heavyweight, one of them's a middleweight. Uh, it's not that. Okay. He's not... <laughs> he's a speedy mon. <laughs> Poor Proboscis. Oh my god. It's been nothing but tanks, and then he's gotta fight a speedo. Why can't he ever roll into a tank? I don't know, man. There's a lot of tanks and losers right now, though. Okay, so it went, once he loses... <laughs> loser of 11. We'll have to fight loser of 10. You'll have to fight the the gel I just fought. So you got a shot there. Underdog betting time. It's, it's very unlikely Robos is, is going to win this, but he does have a shot. And Oakville doesn't have much life. Nine percent on punch. Nine percent. Build up that guts lead, baby. Victory road, baby. Hell yeah. Nothing is technically impossible. True. He's got a 60 guts lead. He hasn't attacked yet. He goes for the blood suction. Let's go. One percent. Okay. You could have used a tech that has ten times as much accuracy, but uh, you went for that. We call these winnable. This is a... Uh, this is a 6-4 matchup. <laughs> oh shit, he's got ease! Oh no. Oh no. He's taking no damage? Yeah. What's really funny is he's taking enough damage though that he can't win on a single hit here. Sledgefall's gonna do a good chunk, but he's still gonna be alive. He's in the yellow. He's got hurry. He can do... Any, he can do anything he sets his mind to at ZomboCon, but he decides to do nothing. Got to see 20 Brabatskis matches in Kitchen Sink. Okay, it begins again. Father, can you hear me? I regret the day that I was born. That song's called Begin Again. Don't worry. I'm doing the music thing where I just sing random lines. Hey, my color Pandora vid was insightful. Hey, I'm glad you think so. Thank you. He's got the ease! This man is getting smoked. The 1%? You know, with ease active, if he hits the blood suction, Broboskis will instantly win. Hangers on training mode, he's just practicing his B&Bs. He gets the sledge fall kill. Well, how about a tourney where everyone's monster is randomly decided? So we've been uh, thinking about doing stuff like that. I got a folder of ideas. I got a binder of women. Uh, Equitatus and Raincoat. Up next.
He's warming up. Yeah, you got the loser's run. You can make it happen. I already forget who he's fighting. Equitatus and Raincoat. Are there any plans for another Monster Rancher 3 tournament? Yes. Okay, prediction is live. Out of the 400 plus mons in Monster Rancher 2, how many do you actually cross paths with in regular gameplay? Because I've never seen a lot of these. Um, what is it? Like roughly 10 per rank. And then you have a couple of one-off tournaments, special tournaments, and um, Major 4. You're probably looking at about... A hundred max, maybe a hundred or so. Yeah, there's full on main breeds that never show up. You never fight an Undine, you never fight a Mock, you never fight a Raki, never fight uh, Beaklon, Bajarl. There's lots of stuff that just straight up doesn't ever show up. Okay, 71% on Raincoat. Mock and Raki are surprises. Yeah, I think they make sense as surprises. Oh, hits the cross slash. Wow, that's enough. Okay. Raincoat hanging in there. I love Aqua Mask. I love, like, this color of blue. T-Bolt for a little bit of damage. Still hanging in there. Into the Whirlwind? Will that be enough? 488, not quite. Equitatus just needs to attack again. Ranko does have enough guts for T-Bolt. Here comes the Rush Slash. He hits it at 39%. Oh my god. Oh no. Potential dumb question. Is there a way to upload a save file from memory card for Monster Rancher 3 tourney? Uh, yes. Yes, there is. Am I going to tell you how? So there's a machine called a dex drive. And basically what it is, is a USB peripheral that reads memory cards. You'd have to buy that. The whirlwind? That man got blustered. You got mono subbreeds and you can't use the peaches? Interesting. Monochrome turn you. You can only have a, a black monster or a white monster. My baby. <laughs> I'm not gonna do fucking Michael Jackson. <laughs> oh shit, the triple stabs. Big damage. How much? That's all. Oh, it's enough. Oh. What do you think? The simplest monster to train for my first tourney? <laughs> um, I don't know. Color Pandora is pretty close. Color Pandora might be easy. Sick and Twisted versus Softshell Stew. We get a Zoom versus a Dino. Or, er, not Dino, Dragon. Ape? Ape's up there too, yeah. There's a bit of a. Uh, what the fuck am I doing? Softshell Stew. Joker? Basics Joker. There is a difference in uh, ease of raising Color Pandora versus Joker, though. Phoenix. Power Phoenix specifically, yeah. Okay, prediction is live for this one. Who do you guys like? Okay, what do we got? 94% on soft shells too. Intelligence zoom is pretty fun. Joker is purple. It's yeah. All right, the trample's going to hit 60%. Speed on Dean's pretty easy. Yeah. 
Undine requires you to do a little bit of priority skipping and get specific text to have like a very strong one. Dragon Arrowhead looks like an affront to God. I love it so much. I, yeah, he, it, he looks very different in line. Uh, he looks much cooler in line. But that also means he doesn't look like a terrifying monster you'd find on the bottom of the ocean. Oh, the trample miss at 69. Also, sick and twisted can't land anything, huh? Can miss the tail attack too? He's still in it! Oh, look at this. Give him the clamps! Oh shit, the fireball's enough at 39%. He got him. I'm going to game three. This zoom dodging everything. I don't see Basilisk very often. Five balls opener. Do you see trampled two thirds chance? He goes for it. Smokes him. That's gonna be it. That's it. Soft Shell Stew wins that one. Two one. The Hound and Ruby rose up next. Some great variety in this tourney, yeah. Hey! I'm late, so we missed landing in Victory Road. Oh, well, that's okay. We call it Victory Road for a reason. More Durahans. There actually wasn't that many. Oh, there's two Durahans here. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. I was like, Shells said there was a lot. Prediction is live. Also, Shells, if you're watching, um, send me a, a DM. Doesn't need to say anything, but just to uh, ping me to remind me that there's something I want to talk to you about. I uh, love the Dayton Air GIF. First ever raised. Which Dayton Air GIF? Who's got a Dayton Air GIF? Oh, the, the money gift. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know what the hell you were talking about. Uh, okay. 50-50. 2K on both. All right. I feel like Tiger's underrepresented for how good it is. I think it's... Yeah. He's a little boring, right? Secret DMs to ban TT from future tournaments. Yeah, that's it. Deathbringer? That is what Ruby Rose does. Ruby Rose won an entire tournament doing that shit. I like how it has the fleur de lis on the, the shield. This lady's French. Alright, get some with the rolling slash. Deathbringer again? God damn, dude. All right. He gets the death slash, or the dash slash, I should say. The Hound wins game number two. Will we see three for three on the Deathbringers? Bro has a forte. <laughs> yeah. Power of God in anime. Nope. Should be using dash slash when you've got uh, Deathbringer. Oh, miss the slash combo too. They both have Deathbringer. Damn, what the hell? Another rolling slash. Hound is actually going to take that one. Ruby Rose won the last tournament it was in. Wait, did Ruby Rose win the whole tournament? I know it made top six. Or did it just win that tournament with all the Deathbringers to make top six? I can't remember. Anyway. Nevermore and J Shells. Alright. Nevermore is the Kaken, right?
hates you. I have soft shell stew is losing. Okay, I made a mistake. Uh, choose outcome. That went to this. Okay, prediction is live. Okay, and after this, we'll be done round one. There's one monster that hasn't fought yet because I got to buy, but uh, I've seen all of them except for that one. Get in there, Jay. You got you, you got it, boss. Okay, here we go. What do we got on the prediction? 71% on the Bajaro, on the Baharo. Explosion. <laughs> ah, you got fucked up. Oh, my God. All right. Calkins card came straight out of Robot Chicken. Mock Punch or Mystic Punch. All right, it's getting Mystic in here. This dude's got Falling Beak. What the fuck? Who hits the bound? This man's bounding. Another magic punch. 600 damage on the crit. Baharl doing good work. You won't have to go back to the, the mines if he wins this one. Baharl is top tier. God damn. He's doing so many mystic punches. Falling Beak is not the, the move you want here. Oh, the bound misses as well. Yeah, but Charles basically guaranteed to win this. Another Fallen Beak, he misses. Never seen Falling Beak hit. It does marginally more damage when it hits than when it misses. Beak Thrust. Bonk. Ooh, hits the Magic Punch. Beak Thrust is like actually not terrible. Like, it's not great. It does a decent amount of damage though. Flutter Slap is what makes him so weak in DX, though. Shells did the thing. That was three games. That was pretty quick. Okay, we got Mateo and Rankin Smog up next. Mateo's the only one we haven't seen yet, but we've seen Mateo before. Tail time. The Salcato, yeah. Okay. Prediction is live. Salcato is a really funny mistranslation, too. It's just supposed to be Serket, which is, you know, the Egyptian god of. Serket, like, god of poison or something like that. I can't remember exactly. But. Healing venomous stings and bites. Okay. That's just what the name's supposed to be, but, you know. Transliteration makes it Selketo. So it was corrected in Monster Hunter Advance 2, yeah. I still say Selketo. I think it's a cooler name, but it's just uh, <laughs> objectively wrong. 73% on Mateo. That Meteor or the Dragon Combo? It's the Dragon Combo. 999 damage, no crit necessary. There's a lot of Egyptian names. Yeah, Amenhotep. Ocelot, a mistranslation of Ocelot, yes. You see Meteor? We see Punch! Alright, you did 10 damage. You're on the board. I'm sure you also made me think Durahans because they're durable. Not, yeah, Dullahan is the obvious. It's the obvious. More energy shots? Give him the zip zap. Look at that. Getting withered. Getting withered, my favorite video game. I don't like it. What do we got? A punch? That, that's just to be a dick. 
All right, tail attack, gonna put you in your place. <laughs> the claw assault. All right, do we see another energy shot? Triple stings, maybe? Oh, hits the triple stings. That's gonna do a good amount of damage and solid withering. Rankin Smog needs to go all the way up and attack in slot one to actually win this, but he's running away. Shouldn't be running away. Not as bad amazing as a Labia Nython. Yeah, that's the worst. That's the absolute worst one in the game. One standing next to each other for five seconds was peak mood. They're just uh, sussing out the situation, you know? Another dragon combo. He's like, I don't like how that last one went. Uh, I'm just going to win. And he did. So that's a 2-1 for Rank and Smog. Hayabusa and Kruger up next. They're sus like Among Us. JP, shut the fuck up. I need a counter for how much I'm going to say that. You're, you're one of Macho's students, aren't you? Which says more about you than a lot of the people here realize. Dude, the, the DK shrug is great. I love that. Ooh. Kruger. My son Sprainerd Kruger. Yeah, that dancing mode is great too. Alright, uh... That went to the dragon. Dragon. JP Asasi Baka. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, predictions live. On Monsters Old Tournaments years ago is how I learned about Monster Rancher 2. Hell yeah. Wait, is that a slam emote? Man, does slam still stream? I haven't seen her stream in a long time. Commander Kruger. A doggy Kruger. It was 65% on Kruger. She streamed Digimon today? Nice. We used to stream around the same time a lot when uh, I didn't work, but now I think it's, uh, you know, we stream at very different times now. Last stream eight hours ago? Nice. The double triple stab, the six stabs. The double, 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 double. Hits the rush slash 56%. It's not enough to put him in the lead, but he does have, like, a one, two chance to win this here. Hits another one. It's going to be enough. Hayabusa hangs in there. His sword's too big. How do you beat someone with a sword that big? How does he even hold that shit one-handed? My boost are going to miss a game, or the first attack, I should say. And triple stab is going to do a little bit of damage. Not what he wants to be using here, but the crits are always nice. What are you going to know? Another one, a crit will kill. He'll be close without it. Oh, he definitely needed the crit there. Kruger going to take game number two. Slash at 41? Oh, that's big damage. You know what they say about the front of the horse? Do be the weakest part. He zoned in on that. Sir Gala Slam and give me some sip up next. Looking forward to hey. getting back into the tournament scene pretty soon. Hey, Olfeist, hope you're having a fantastic day. Thanks for that. Really appreciate it. 20 months, damn. Yeah, it'd be nice to see you back in the scene, too. Okay, predictions live. Boy doesn't like to dodge, I know. It's unfortunate. What are you going to do? Oh, well, loser's bracket's still there. You're not out yet. We got 98% of the votes on Sir Gala Slam right now. He likes to crit, though. He does like to crit. I think dodging... I think Go would, like, be very happy trading all the crits for actually dodging, though. Centaur's a hype monster. Centaur can just, like, win anything, yeah. It's always a chance. 87% on the dragon. 
Oh, the foolery immediately? Hits the wing attack. It's not quite the slamming down you wanted. 32% on blood suction. Tries to give him the suck, but he misses. Hits another wing attack. A little bit of withering. Bring back Seabiscuit Centaur. Trample's gonna win that. Seabiscuit, it's a heavyweight, right? Yeah, because I put him in the Deluxe Cup. Yeah, he's still there. He's still hanging out. I think he's probably my best uh, heavyweight. I think Mr. Stromboli is technically the better monster, but he does not do nearly as well. Sip needs to stop sucking. Damn. Damn, we got bars in the chat. Kill attack. Good damage. Puts Gimme into the yellow. Goes for this blood suction. He hits it, though. He hits it, though. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Just when you thought he needed to stop. He keeps going, and it works out for him. about making a heavyweight version of Kruger. Oh my god, that pierce does so much damage. 20 force. Jell Thurston for that dragon. This man's Thurston more. Tail whip. Doing some big damage. Goes for the stab and it misses. What do we got now? 20 seconds left on the clock. Sir Galaslam has the guts lead. Or the life lead, sorry. His opponent's got the guts lead. The Pierce is gonna hit him. Damn. Dragon had a shot to win it. But, we got to see the good suck, and then he ends up winning. Uh, Granola and Annie up next. After we finish this round, I think I'm gonna take a quick break, go get some more water. We're moving along at a good pace, but I do think it's going to be hard to finish before midnight. We'll see where we're at by the time we're ready for loser's bracket. Okay, prediction is live. Who do you like? Remember watching you a year ago, and now you're so fucking handsome that you must think Monster Hunter. Are you just gonna keep saying the same thing? I don't think there's anything more embarrassing than not like saying a joke that doesn't land and being like, "What if I said it again, though?" It's not a copy pass. It's just a guy. Whatever, he's banned. I'm not dealing with that. If you're going to try and troll me, you got to be funny. You know? Like, what was that fucking monster? Remember when that guy's like, when's so-and-so fighting? Or something like that? And he just asked like a hundred times. And I was like going insane by the end of it. Dreadwood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that shit kills me. Yeah, 80%. A&E. With the 80%. That was you? Was that actually you that started that? Dude, uh, that was so funny. The double spike stabs? Granola. Granola got diced. It was Kroto. I thought you were going to ban him. I was like... I was like almost like frustrated. I was just, like so perplexed as to what was going on. I'm not banning you, don't worry. Hits the knock. Granola in a little bit of trouble. Yeah, spike bites coming in hot. Hard to deal with that. Annie is gonna move on. Everyone asks where's Dreadwood, but nobody asks where's Dreadwood. <laughs> It's true, nobody does ask that. <laughs> Alright, Annie gets the win there. Everybody bet big on him, eh? Enoch and Deo.
I really like the way Fake Life phrased that. I don't think there's a funnier way to say that joke. Like, you just repeat the, <laughs> the Where's Dreadwood? I know, explaining a joke doesn't help it be funnier, but I appreciate it. Very simple, but very funny. Enoch time? Enoch time. I was convinced he's watching on mute, yeah. I think... I, I'm sure Krau can, uh, like, attest to this. I, I feel like it was, like, legit, like, twice, and then it wasn't after that. Like, he was, like, legitimately asking at the beginning, and then just was not after that, and I didn't catch on right away, so I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> 83% on Deo. That is right, yeah. Once you explain a joke, there is no joke. You can still appreciate it. Deo. Deo. Cyclone come and JP go home. Go in a game too, just like that. Comes the turn assault and it misses. Well, charge, probably not what Deo wants here, but damage is damage. Puts him in the green. Another charge. Crit might kill. Oh, he doesn't even need the crit. That's it. Charges. Cyclone and charge. Deo, he's made up pots, pots, pots. Bump it up, but up, bump it up, but up. Big beat in Oakville. Okay, we got a uh, Robo Man fight. I need your help burying his body. Oh, bring some towels and some garbage bags. Uh, wrong one. I guessed wrong twice in a row. They like come and JP goes home. You, uh, I'm a big fan of someone repeating my joke, but worse. Okay, prediction is live. <laughs> Who do you like? Who do you like? Is Deo a literal pothead? He's also a pot shins. Pot knees. This man's a real potheed. Oh, that's pothead. Are these cards in the same pose but slightly zoomed in? Mm, I think uh, Automaton is like sitting down or he's like kneeling or something. I don't remember. 67% on Oakville. Same build except Big Beat's got the, the laser cutter. Missing the punch. Laser cutter 32%? He's smoking it. Didn't see the 19 speed? <laughs> Yeah, he's a tanky boy. Okay, he hits him once. Good crit, because he's down 60 guts right now. He's gonna take a lot of damage here. Or maybe not. Hammerfall? That's gonna do a chunk, though. 500. Big Beat's still in it. What do we see? Low kick. Do we see a grit? There's the grit. They both got 50 guts. They both can attack. They're both very close to being dead. But Big Beat is dead. Look at that leg sticking out of his head. That's unfortunate. Okay. Game two. Big Beat missing the 50s. Can he hit the hammer fall? He can't. Okay, so Big Beat's landed one attack. It's unfortunate, but it happens. Low kicks, two low kicks. Three low kicks. Ah, ah, ah. Four low kicks. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, you got a shot. Laser cutter 39%. You couldn't have used your accurate attack. You mook. Hammerfall at 40. That's going to land. Will it kill, though? 428? Damn. Oh, my God. Exact damage. Game three. Come on, Engeland. Scott, <laughs> Hit some fucking moves! 
It's not where that's Damascus Steel. <laughs> Hammerfall is going to miss. Oakville's in a good spot here to retaliate. But he's going to get smoked by the Hammerfall. And it crits! I will take it. GG's. Big beat. You know. Come on, England! Equitatus and Softshell Stew up next. Never doubted. <laughs> I think I can scroll up and see you doubting. Just gotta cheer, support your team. And potatoes and soft shells too. I left for a bit and returned to the sound of my people. <laughs> yes. Oi, oi, oi. Okay. Big beat wins that one, two, one. We're almost into winner's top 16. We need this and then one more match after this. Give us a sip, mate. <laughs> oh, yeah. Freshen your drink, governor. Okay, uh, it's 91%. 91% on soft shell stew. People not liking the horsey in this. Gotta support the arrowhead sub. Two misses in a row? Equitatus gonna be in a little bit of trouble here. Trample with a guts lead? Yikes. I don't think that crit mattered. I think it was gonna do 999 regardless. Not that much of a guts lead? Very possible. Ooh, the trample. Stab's gonna miss at the fun percent. It's unfortunate. Soft Shell Stu just hanging out. He's like, I can trample again. Because after trample, it really looked like the monster is dead. Yeah. Like, that monster went to hell. Pretty sure that did like 2 to 50 if it wasn't capped. I like how you just made up a number for that. There's no way it did, like, 1,300 damage, but it probably did close to 1,000. The Hound and Jay. A Highlander <laughs> Burial. <laughs> did at least two damage, it's true. Jay. So, a thing I've been thinking, because I have a folder of, like, ideas of... Uh, stuff I want to update on my channel. Uh, prediction is live, by the way. A thing I'm thinking is uh, little Niton icons that are different colors. I may change that to something else, but I don't know what I want to change this to. I kind of like the little Niton icons, but uh, I don't know. If anybody has any ideas, let me know. You got it, boss. Monster Rancher 2 trophies? Oh, the trophies could be cool. I don't know if you'd be able to tell what's going on. 77% on J shells. Ooh, the magic punch miss. Rolling start. Damn, that's big damage. But he grits. He's still in it. The different ranks look different enough. That's true. I think I was originally going to do the ranks, but there's... I don't know if there's enough. I think Macho... Uh, or someone else has... Um, crop them, so I could probably put those in pretty easy. Do I need anyone for one month, three... Is it one, three, six, nine, twelve? Is it five? It's more than that, right? 
I don't remember. Anyway, Shell's gonna take that. We're going to game three. With the magic or the mystic punch, it's gonna miss. Punch combo, punch, punch, punch. 999 damage. Good god. The hound takes it. The hound will be taking that one. As we move on to our winner's top 16, these are all play ins to get into top 8 now. I think I'm gonna go through these four games first, and then I'm gonna take a quick break to get some water, and then we're gonna go to losers. Rankin, Smog, and Hayabusa. Yeah, these matches are a lot quicker than uh, lightweight. Gotta have to make a loser's run now, at least if you don't want to be a loser, it's true. The Toy Score Tournament, Duck and Raki. Hanger and Mock subs only. Why Mock? In that... Okay, prediction is live. A toy-based tournament. A toy-based tournament, you don't even have Mew? Oh, there's a lot of toy monsters, eh? The dragon in the night. To have the neat woods. <laughs> oh! Yeah, okay. I understand now. Mock subs. Hanger subs could work too. Yeah, you're right. Uh, okay, 82% on the dragon. Old toys were made of wood. Yeah, I was thinking... Uh, no mock and mew subs instead. No, I don't think purebred mock would work for that, but mock subs would. Toy Agu monster is the best one, no cap. How's Terman going? Terman's going well, unless you're Hayabusa, in which you just got slapped. Rankin Smog wins game one. Look how long the nails are. Dragon's hands in this are so funny. He's got like large rectangles with like even larger fingers on top. I've seen a lot of Rolling Slash today. I didn't know um, Kokushi Muso's uh, little vapor trail on his sword is yellow. It's different on all of them, but his is like gold. I did not know that. He's got a P blade. Kick combo gonna do damage, but not quite enough. He's got the guts for dragon combo. He really doesn't need to use it, but I'm happy he did. 999 damage. The dragon's going in top eight, just like that. He literally dragon comboed his way to top eight. <laughs> Give me some sip and any &E up next. It's good in the meadow. Not a lot of monsters are running, uh, running speed. Another two monsters who can't dodge. Oh wait, sorry, a and in the speed model, yeah. So, Freeman's Mon managed to beat Monster by hitting that blood suction last time. Prediction is live, by the way. Will he be able to do it again? Can't fight back if they got one shot? Unless they grit, in which case, um, that's how Rankin Smug almost lost his round one. It's also how he won his round one, because he got two grits. Okay, people are liking Give Me Some Sip in this by quite a bit. What's grit? Couldn't tell you. Actually, my monster won with it, right? No, my monster got grit and then died anyway. Grit didn't help him. Stab can do... Wow, big damage there on the crit. A 50% chance to swing a second one? It misses. But he's still in it for sure. And 99 guts on a &E, but he just does not want to attack. Charge can do a little bit. 
four charges would do quite a bit. Knock, probably do just under 500. Well, the crit will definitely make it do more. <laughs> Enemy grit, my beloved, yeah. For life of me, can't remember how to do this build. This is uh, cocooned. You have to cocoon it, and it gives you uh, pierce instead of whip. Well, the blood suction miss. Yeah, basically you get uh, the one tech as worm, and then uh, you cocoon, and then this is your build. Two knocks! That man got two knocked! Should open up the door, it's me. Okay. So, a and E's gonna win anyway, even though it was looking real close. The mono moves on. It also ended up being 52% in a and E's favor in the bets at the end. Can't cocoon blood suction. Oh, no, Just gotta pick it up raw. Oh, bring some towels. I think Blood Suction's got an error in its coding where a lot of other, uh, what do you call it? Where a lot of other monsters don't. Where for the most part, you can't actually priority skip for anything that has a nature requirement. But for Blood Suction, for whatever reason, you can. The cocoon is just to get rid of whip, yeah. Uh, Deo and Big Beat up next. Alright, I'm spooked. Good luck. Yeah, this is a kind of a hard matchup for me. Oh wait, it's got, um... It doesn't have the body press, right? It's got charge. Maybe, maybe my guy can do it. Prediction is live. I gel only had blood suction and stab and pierce. Yeah, er, it comes with j uh, stab and pierce instead of stab and whip. Charge only. Last time I thought you would have trouble, I sent my ghost to hell. I I sent them back to hell. Back from whence he came. Seventy-two percent on the golem. But we start in cyclone range, so it doesn't matter. Can I get a grit? Can I please get a grit? I don't like this at all. Uh, this is this is this is the game we've decided to play. Walk forward slightly. He did. He did technically walk forward slightly. Anyway, congratulations, Dale, on making top eight. Why did you guys bet on my monster there? You're so stupid. <laughs> I try not to, like, throw it before uh, the match starts one way or the other, but, like, that was an extremely hard match. Willer Killer has decided it would kill? It's true. Softshell, <coughs> Softshell Stew and the Hound. Ah, thanks for the chips. Yeah. I just believe in Big Beat. I just believe. Big Beat's a good monster. That's just... An insanely hard matchup to win. Either way, Deo has to fight a speed monster. Prediction is live. So Deo um, can't do that frame one cyclone nonsense once he's in top eight. Ultra fight at the ranch at two. <laughs> Time for ultra fight at the ranch. Okay, Jason, I see, I see that you started it, but Lily got the assist on that one. Didn't did I say Big Uncle Pete won tournament earlier? Yeah, you won the last tournament we did. Considered toy score for attorney idea. I still don't understand the score bit. I think it's a fun concept. I think uh, it would be a fun one to do. 52%. I, I'm just saying numbers now. Big Uncle Meat? Jesus. Oh shit, the rolling slash? Oh my god. Alright. Hound takes game one. It's not an assist, it's a second character where versus gaming. <laughs> well, if it's a second character in a versus game, it's also an assist. So... 
Toy store. I understand the store part. <laughs> I didn't, what, what score? What, what do you mean? Like, you scored an attack? You scored a hit? I mean, that's the part I don't get. I understand it's a pun on Toy Store, but... Dash Slash can hit at 39, that's gonna be enough. But Stu! Stu! He's still in it. He's still in it! Ugh. Two in a row, that's a big miss. He got that grit. But can he survive the slash combo? He does dodge it. Trample at 36. Oh, he gives him the squish. There's another grit. Wow, the hound is going to win this on a grit tie? That is crazy. Do we see another trample? Do we see anything? We don't see anything. All right. It says it's the same, but is it really the same? It's not really the same. 1% is a bigger percentage of 300 than it is of 400. Yeah, Cafellos was asking about that earlier, but that's what happens when they both got one. So, the Hound moves through on a grit tie. So that means that our winner's side top 8 is Rank and Smog versus A and E, and Deo versus the Hound. So, uh, three speed monsters. Three speed monsters in top 8. Rank and Smog are the only tank. Seems like a lot of new monsters in this one. There's quite a few. There's a couple of mainstays. Ruby Rose. We've seen Nevermore before. Equitatus before. Proboscis. Oakville. Big Beat. Enoch. a and &E, Give me some Sip. Troa. Ritzgal. Uh, is that it? Rank and Smog. I don't think is new. Maybe it is, but the name sounds very familiar. Louis used diving press this time. 80% on Ritzgal. They start outside of slot three. But oh shit. It's the dash slash. The super super damaging dash slash. But here comes the slash combo. This is probably enough. 376, but he gets the grit. He's still in it. Do we see Diving Press? We do! And he's got a Guts lead, so that's definitely doing 999. Rankin Smog has entered before, just once or twice. Ritzgal's a newcomer. Might be thinking of her sisters Glitzgal and Blitzgal. Maybe I'm thinking of the other ones, yeah. Made new monsters near the end. Another Diving Press, but she's still in it. And she's angry. I'd be angry too. Dash Slash, not going to do a lot of damage. Um, and, you know, doesn't do any withering. But does set her up to just kill with whatever she wants. We're going to game three. Stuff making a monster, then go 0 2. Need to re enter at least once. Yeah, for sure. My boy's fresh. I'm happy with how he's done. Diving Press, crit will kill, and it does. Look at that. How likely is Grit? Um, it's based on the amount of guts you have, uh, your monster's loyalty, and how much defense they have. I think on round start, it's like roughly a 20% chance as long as they have uh, max loyalty and like best nature. Oops, my bad. Yeah, it's 30% at highest. So that's if you have 999 guts. Um, sorry, you have 99 guts, 999 defense, and max loyalty. Don't know why I even try. Brother, you, you really have to stop with the Eeyore shit. It happens. And that, that literally happened to me too. I got smoked by a golem frame one. 999 guts. Imagine the guts correction on that. All right. Lumber Louie is moving on. We got Troa and Tiny Matt up next. It can be, it's very demoralizing, right? It's its very defeating when your, your monster doesn't do well. 
That doesn't mean the monster is bad. That means maybe you rolled a bad matchup, or maybe you got unlucky on hits. It could be a million things. It doesn't necessarily mean your monster is bad. If your monster wins a tournament, it's probably because your monster is very good. But if your monster does badly in a tournament, it doesn't really mean much. Is Troa a Gundam reference? Yeah, it is. Okay, predictions live. Just need more of us running tournaments. Yeah, I mean, I, I do want to run more tournaments. It's just, you know, with work and the fact that if I ran as many tournaments as people wanted, I literally would never stream anything else. And I know some of you are like, yeah, that's the point. <laughs> but I do like playing other games on stream occasionally. Or even just doing other Monster Rancher stuff on stream. Like the Doodle stream. 54% uh, on Tiny Mat. I think for a bit we actually hit critical mass on tournaments. It's happened before, and I'm sure it'll happen again. I have no problem with you only streaming tournament. Yeah, that's what I said. Like my FGC streams, thank you. Angle runs a bunch. Yeah, Angle's always running stuff. Angle runs more tournaments than I do at this point. The weapon. I did mochi and holy angles all mochi tournament and lost every single match. Made the worst of the worst? Hell yeah. That's actually sick. Speaking of other stuff, when's the next Nashlock vid? Uh, it's coming up in a couple of days. It's actually the finale. Tiny Matt takes it. That was a joke, Nash. My other streams are cool. Politely suggest more Digimon content. Metabots. I hate the Metabots games. The Metabots games are so ass. I love Metabots. I love Mr. Referee specifically. Just like Troa loves losing, but the games are bad, man. Just got the pun in Tiny Mat, yeah. It's a good name. Can't wait for the next blindfold run. That'll be happening in October. Quack attack and let's go, bub. Kianta sounds like fun. It would be interesting playing Kianta become a Kianta streamer. Uh, I already play One Must Fall, which is like Boomer Kianta. It's like, what if Kianta had no uh, super meter? It's basically what that game is. Let's go. Do you and uh, Selvi actually play Kianta? I've never played it. It looks so fucked up. Next Duel Master stream, I don't even know if we're going to finish it. The gameplay is not fun. Um, the deck building is not fun. We'd be playing it for the, the story, basically. Okay, prediction is live. I love the, the Flash animation. How to draw manga style art it's got. Every month I try sending clips to Willard Killard from your One Must Fall tournaments and never gets in. Do you really? I don't... Uh, I keep forgetting. Here, I have one that I think is pretty funny. This this is unlisted on my channel. Uploaded in May. This is the game we're talking about. This is a tournament. This is a tournament match. Uh, here, one sec. We're just going to quickly go to this, and then we'll go back. Oops, that's that's definitely the wrong one. Uh, I mean to go this. So this is me against arguably the best player in the world. Not the player that won uh, Combo Breaker when they played it at Combo Breaker. Hey, Augustin, thank you. Million, 222, 222 gifted to Stark Nado 3D. They didn't win the tournament because they were TOing. But uh, if you guys don't know what Will It Kill is, it's a fighting game game show where basically you see the first hit of a combo, and then the question is, is that combo going to kill or not? So here's mine. I love this game. This was in tournament. <laughs> Alrighty then, chat. 
Is it gonna kill? It's got full health. It's off a grab. <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't be posting this if it didn't kill. All right? I don't know the game, so it definitely will kill. Yeah. Are we stunned? Yeah, many, many <laughs> robots throws are absolutely <laughs> devastating because... It's a good game. I like it. Robot is not Asian. It kills. <laughs> uh, Alright, here we go. Oh, shit. Kronos might be Asian. What do we have on this? Just prediction. 79% on Quack Attack. Here comes the Quack Attack! Oh, Monster Rancher 3 looks great, yeah. Damn, let's go, old bub. Gonna hit that Drill Claw again. Alright, and Gustin with another sub. Very kind of you, thank you. Draymond moves are working tonight? They're working. He went at that after the first hit, he did, yeah. He's got a teleport, and he's got like a freeze ball. He's basically, um... What's his name? He's got a teleport, he's got a teleport kick, and he's got a freeze ball. He is like a reptile from the original Mortal Kombat, who just had Scorpion and Sub-Zero's moves. Anyway, Bub's gonna take that one. Froster Shocking was once a worm. Glad the Wolverine move actually worked. Drill Claw. Tornado Claw is very different in this game than it is in the Marvel series, though. I talked about this in like a one-off joke. Uh, choose outcome that goes to Bub. Okay, prediction is live. I talked about this as a one-off joke in one of my videos, one of my recent videos. Um, but a big reason why I like I wanted to like learn more about fighting games when I was growing up and like not just mash is because I got my ass kicked by my sister mashing shit on Wolverine in the marvel superheroes and i was like she barely knows how to hold the controller how am i losing to this and then i like sat down and i figured out like what do i do in this game and i like i took it seriously i was still really young but i took it seriously I was once a worm with 64 percent of the votes ice bomb gonna do a good chunk power kato in general is very good it's pretty solid yeah Drill Claw would be broken on a monster with a faster guts rate. I'd love to figure out some good Kato tech loadouts. I don't have the Rancher Rundown for Kato, like, conceptualized yet. Is my sister a prodigy? Uh, no. And she, like, barely plays games. And she barely played games back then. So I don't know, uh, I don't know how I got smoked so bad, but... I think a lot of people, when they're like new to fighting games, kind of have that whole idea, right? Where they don't treat it like a skill. They don't treat it like a sport, right? I see people who are, and it's fine to like play things extremely casually and not care, right? Just like it's fine to play like pickup basketball or whatever, like super casually and not be real try hard about it. Um, but you're going to get to a point where, like, you probably want to do a little bit better. And so you're going to practice and you're going to figure out what you're doing wrong. Shout out to the gel rundown. Maybe you want to use pyramid. Yeah. Do we know, like, how it works in general? Like, is it based? It's not based off of your intelligence. So I don't know what it's actually based off of. Is it based off of life? It's like a percentage of life, right? Also, um, I wasn't paying attention at all. I know Frost won that game. 
Is that 1 1 or is that 2 0? 1 1, okay. I like Soul Calibur 2. I love Soul Cal. I played Soul Calibur 6 quite a bit. Literally lost the tournament due to Gel Pyramid. Yeah. Pyramid is based off your chakras for best use. Set up a dream catcher the week before the tournament. Oh my god. You gotta have that shit aligned. It was once a worm. I'm having a lot of trouble this tournament. Lightning! That's enough. Percentage of life, yeah, but I don't actually know how much stats contribute to it, honestly. I was kind of hoping to enter it in enough turns that someone researches it at some point. I We should have the info. Like, there's the whole thing about... Um, what is it? Is it Vital Ritual that takes your your difference in intelligence between you and your opponent into consideration for how much guts it steals or something like that? Like, the more intelligence the color Pandora has than its opponent, the more guts it drains? I think that's how it works. I didn't want to talk about it because I couldn't find um, the info on it in, in the new video. It was like an afterthought, and I was like, I don't know. I, I tried looking for it, I couldn't find info. I'm pretty sure that's how it works, though. Okay, Guac and Broboscis. Ger gel Pyramid only, Turny? I don't know if that's how all Guts Steel Techs work. Okay, prediction is live. Who do you like? Macho, you guys got a shot. <laughs> He's definitely got a shot. He's still not going to have 99% chance to hit with the big moves, but... He's not out of it. Put it all in Arrowhead. Put it all on black. The color you were dressed in. And I'm stabbed in the back. Bum, 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 ba, da, bum. You guys like Alkaline Trio? Uh, 60% on Roboscus. People think he's got it. He's got it. I'm gonna give him the big stabs. I think Raboscus has won this. Look at this damage difference. Yeah. Barney Rubble. What would a good Alkaline Trio song be for Barney Rubble? I can barely do voices. I can't sing and do voices at the same time. Remember when I said, you know, I loved you, <laughs> Fred. <laughs> Forget it, I take it back. For Boskis, just tanking the hits. 75% miss. That slaps. <laughs> Unless Barney Moore hand kill. It, there, it's, it's all of them. I'm gonna get a cocky, copyright strike. It's too good, I know. That's why I don't sing on the channel. It's also why I don't do my Wolverine impression. It's too good. A lot of stabbing. A lot of punching. Damn, the crit for 249. Holy moly. Barney Rubble with Hank Hill and just a smidge of Kermit. There's a little bit of Kermit in there. Oh, jeez. Uh, and then what were the other ones yesterday? It's, it was Kermit, Yogi Bear, Ernie, Barney Rubble. It's, it's, I just do one voice. I just do a, one cartoon character voice, and it's all of them. Okay, Raincoat. That's a really hard match for that gel to win. It's Arrowhead Loadout is insane. I love that it's winning so much. It's, I think that's the first time I've ever seen it win. Just being real. Raincoat and sick and twisted. That's such a fun name. Sick and Twisted is such a stupid name. It's so good. 
This monster's sick and twisted, just like my psyche. Ooh. Okay, prediction is live. I got monsters in my brain. <laughs> It's like, it's like that, it's, uh, what is it, like, the share zone? Oh my god. <laughs> it's Hot Topic Sheik. Yeah, he's like the, the shit that, like, the share zone makes fun of. The saddest part is how often Proboscis runs into the tank and then never uses blood suction, yeah. If you love that name, just wait for the mana entered for Angle's Rip Therny. Okay, I'm excited. You've sold me. I'm waiting on bated breath. 56% on raincoat. Dodging the balls. It's a fire coat too, I guess. I'm getting flamed. Oh no. 500 damage on the whirlwind. Quack getting two tanks is unfortunate for sure. I think tank basics gel isn't the worst build, especially versus speedsters. No, I don't think it's bad either. It's just... Um, you do need a little bit more damage. Do you have two whips on him? I also think... Um, this is a thing I learned from Dr. Baloney. And having to run into Bajaros over and over again. Is if you have a tank, you need a big attack. Or else you'll just straight up lose against other tanks. If you're a speed monster, you can get by without having a tank killer. You can have just a very... Um, subtle and like risk-averse loadout. But if you're a tank, you need big firepower somewhere. It just doesn't work otherwise. Ruby Rose and Nevermore up next. Do you need to pick something that's fucking crazy? Do you need to pick Golem Cyclone? Uh, maybe not, but like Color Pandora needs Giant Whip or else it's not going to beat tanks. You know, something like that. You need a heavy attack of some sort. Gel cube would have been enough. Gel cube, yeah, would have been pretty good on that build. Gel cube has such an insane guts to force ratio. Okay, prediction is live. You can choose not to run Cyclone Golem, or you can choose to be awesome. You're spitting. Straight facts. I really like Sick and Twisted. That's, that's such a fun monster. Gel Cube is goaded. I like how they're just like, let's make the numbers fucking crazy and then give it minus 16 hit. Do you love how all the galleys have a different cloak pattern and mask? Yeah, they all have a different face. They all have a different design on the back. It's really cool. Okay. Ruby Rose, the 50 50 against Nevermore. The build I do for 2997 is Cocoon with only cubes in slot 2, but you're a Cocoon enthusiast? A Cocoonist? I, that doesn't really work. Slash combo, how much damage are you looking at? Very slight guts lead. Crit will do it. Can't, you're never surviving a crit slash combo. That shit's gonna blow you up. Gel cube is just Durahan Twister Slash? It's pretty close. Oh shit, the Deathbringer only did 62 damage? Damage? Why did I say it like that? I don't know, but Ruby Rose is going to win that one. Ruby Rose is pretty hard to beat as a tank. But somehow, it was sent to losers by a tank. Was it? I'm just making stuff up. Yeah, no, the Hound is speed-based. Alright. J Shells versus Mycidia up next. Why are there faces inside the duck? There's duck faces inside the duck. No. Oh. That's probably enough. Yeah, look at that. Okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Wait, 
Is this the only Dao in the turn? No, there's Dao. We have two Dao's in this tournament. That's wild. Okay. Um, who did I go to? That went to Ruby Rose. Predictions live. Who do you like? That's how ducks are in nature, too. Yeah, they're just built of faces. They're the only golems, too. Um, are they? Maybe. Yeah, it's possible. Crazy how, like, you never see Dao, and in this tournament, we got two of them. Louis, yeah. You never see Wood Golem, either. It's a fun tournament. All right. Man's punching his father, or something like that. Uppercut at 36%? I'll give you the what for, son. Straight gonna do big damage. My Cydia in the yellow gets power. Really doesn't need it, but does give him the potential to kill with like a slap if he's got it. Power diving press? That is fucked up. That is, uh, that is child abuse. Calling CPS on this guy. What the hell? Does Jarl have good intelligence tax? Nope. It does not. It's got three gimmicks and one other one that's like not great. Learn his whole family. I, I'm not gonna say the joke I want to make. I'm just gonna leave it. My city decides to start walking. He's still he's still reeling. He's like I hit my kid too hard. Oh my god, the uppercut. 890 damage. Get back up and fight again. <laughs> Come on. Do you think after he wins, he like steals his pot as like a trophy and like, I don't know, puts it on his body somewhere? Oh, no, like that's what all of this is? Help. Burying his body. Oh, bring some towels and some garbage bags. Oh, no, I need your help. Burying it's like one of the crabs from Monster Hunter. Oh, Equitatus and Lumber Louie. And some garbage bags. Oh no, I need your help burying his body. Oh, bring some towels and some garbage bags. Gone's body is made of the corpses of the corpses of the Majaros. Yeah, exactly. Lumba Louis. Okay. Can't believe uh, Jay died like that. Who's gonna vet my tournaments now? Dows are actually entirely transparent ghosts that hunt down Bajaros and add their pots to their body. That sounds like some wiki level nonsense. You heard it here first. Let's go uh, update the wiki. Someone go update the wiki with that. They'll get mad at you because you're not being, you're just making stuff up. Only they're allowed to make stuff up. Okay. 59% on Lumber Louie. Lumber Louie. More diving presses. Not enough to kill, though. I heard that Jay died in real life after that diving press. I heard that, too. Louie's still hanging in there. Needs one more attack. Slap will do it. Whap. Lumber Louie takes it. Equitatus does have grit. All, I mean, maybe this one doesn't because it's weird or something. But like, Centaur has grit inherently. Just ghosting me now. I don't know. I'm being ghosted. The charge lands. Oh shit! Only know of Bajarl. <laughs> Wait, was the bet that uh, you're gonna name? He's gonna change his name if the monster doesn't do well, or you're gonna change the name if the monster does do well? It's got grit. It just never uses it. I feel that. Potatoes hits the rush slash. We're going to a game three. Your name's already changed to Bajarl. Oh my god, Baharl over here. 
All right, we got a game three. Rear leg kick. Lumber Louie doesn't care about that. I love how of all the things I could have given him for this design, they gave him like high heels. This man's wearing actual boots, like cowboy boots. 69 damage. Oh, he's got guard? Was that the play all along? So now he's gonna do half damage. Uppercut with guard active, not gonna do much. 600 damage with a massive guts lead, but it's over now, so GG's. 961. Is that Elementor Hero Woodsman? No, it's just regular Woodman from uh, Mega Man 2. Okay, so the tree is going to take that. Oakville and Tiny Mat up next. Got to guess at a guess right this time? I did. Lord of the Rings Ent. He's much more svelte than like a, an Ent though. Okay. Prediction is live. Who do you like out of these two? Mock subs are so wild and I see them in my brain goes that's a mock not a golem. Yeah, they're they're different. Even though, you know, for this one you're probably not thinking that's a mock not a hanger. I like how Wood Golem and Woody, the, the what is it, the Racky Mock, or is it called? It's Mocky. It's not Woody. It's Mocky. Mocky, the Racky Mock, look like the exact same except one is big and one small. Dragon versus flammable guy. Oh my god, that's a that's that's a good point. Fifty fifty on the bets here. 230 on Tiny Mat for the name of a champion. Tiny Mat's a great name. It's one of my favorite. Sick and Twisted, I think, is my favorite of this tournament. But uh, Tiny Mat's, you know, it's clever. It's good. He hit those blast shots. We're going to game two. Oakville, consistently one of the best monsters in this rank in our tournaments in the DXBL. Raki is like an underexplored character, I think. I think Raki is significantly better than the amount of Rakis we see in tournament. Seeing a hair fight at Baku Air looks really odd. Yeah, Gontar is just like, I'm you but big. The weapon throws. Weapon throws specifically why I think uh, this is a good monster in this format. Sledge full 40% with power. Really don't need to do that much damage, but it, it is very funny if it hits. Misses two in a row. Racky is great, lightweight mixed attacker. Yeah, I think so. I'm gonna change how weapon is a physical attack, but throwing it is an int attack. He's got to figure out the angle to boomerang it and catch it. It makes it smart. Uh, okay, so Tiny Matt's gonna take that. Enoch and let's go, oh bub. Yeah, we got a lot of killers and losers, eh? Okay, predictions live. There's a tank Racky Metalner for mixed format and it went to town. I raised a tank Racky Metalner for heavyweight and didn't do great. <laughs> I think it's pretty good. It's just, you know, it uses weapon throw sometimes. He's got to do his parabolas and his Pythagoras's. Yeah, exactly. I think anyone with one power basic and one in basic is a good option for lightweight. It's true. I mean, that would probably be where they're they're most consistent, you know. 51 to 49 in Let's Go's favor. Missed the bet. This man can't even bet on his own guy. There's a calculator in that doll head. They don't put farts in the head anymore. Thrust Claw is going to do a little bit of damage. Kato's got fantastic basic techs. A claw combo, this might kill on a crit. It would have killed on a crit. But uh, his opponent's got uh, the anger. 
The Angry Tail Assault, gonna miss. Drill Claw gonna finish him off? Damn, let's go, old bub, taking it. Would not stop swinging. Trade of risk, so the idea of raising something that with mixed basics outside of mixed format puts fear in me. It's frustrating when it happens. You guys have seen me mauled over fucking uh, Mr. Stromboli doing his weapon throws. Drill Clog, gonna do 500 on the dot, just over half. Another one, how much damage here? 276. Puts him in the yellow. He's angry. Hits the thwack. The angry thwack. A little bit of withering on that. Two in a row? Or no withering. He grits. He's still in it. Does he go three for three? Oh, he goes for the claw combo. That's going to kill. Do we see a grit? We do not. Let's go, whoa, bub. Let's go, bub. He's going to take it. He's still in it. Enoch's a killer, man. So, uh, that's a good for bub. Granola and Froster Shock up next. Kato bodying Naga is quite surprising. It is the best Kato versus probably the worst Naga, though. You know, Guts regen makes a big difference. Prediction is live. Who do you like here? I gotta update. Damn, Oakville's out, Enox out. Wait, who went between Equitatus and Lumber Louie? Did Louie win? Yeah, because there was the, the guard incident. We don't talk about the guard incident. That's the thing that's easy to forget. A top here can get beaten by something more average with a little luck. Oh, for sure. It's not even particularly uncommon. Granola or Frost or Shock. What do we got here? 59% on Granola. Yipe! Get popped. Holy fuck. Okay, well, that'll do it. Louis was just using Leaf Shield. It's true. Peachtree Bug could be the winner. It's got an interesting uh, stat. Or, uh, not stat spread. It's got a very basic stat spread. It's got an interesting uh, tech loadout. The Giant Whip's missing? I need more speed monsters to advance. I need uh, guys that can't just instantly merc me. I guess there are some speed monsters that can instantly merc me. Oh my god, he doesn't attack! He doesn't attack through it. Kamikaze is 72. Yipe! That man got yiped. Granola. Gonna take that one. Very hard to beat this monster with a speed monster. Kamikaze is so good. Okay. Uh, Sir Gallislam and Broboscus up next. Luck being a factor makes for inter interesting viewing. It does. You know, I like watching things that are just pure skill. Like, I like watching fighting games and stuff like that. But this is not that, right? This is completely different than that. There is skill involved in making a monster, for sure. There is skill in knowing uh, what does and doesn't work. Um, but in a matchup like this... It's going to be hype if Proboscis wins, but it's extremely unlikely. If he wins this, he has to fight Granola. Unfortunately, a Broboscis fan. Oh, unfortunately for Broboscis fans. And the luck of the AI has something of a leveling factor where anything can potentially happen. Yeah, exactly. You believe in the underdog? What do we got him for bets? 13,000 to 2,000. Yeah, people like Sir Galaslam here. As well, they should. Just got a Bay Leaf. Remember Wasabi Bobby versus Poo Poo? I do remember that. J64 is now following. Thank you for the follow. Tail attack with a 
everything he's got is 99%. Punch at 15, he hits it? He's in the lead! But he's probably got to hit another one to win. His opponent's going to catch up. Especially with Trample. Trample do a lot of damage. Another punch! Lane attack. Little chunk. Raboska is still in the lead. It is half of the match over. Trample doing that little is rare. It is. Another wing attack. Kind of a waste of guts for him. Raboskis still hanging in there. Another wing attack. Ooh, does that give him the lead? It's so close. The claw assault's going to miss. Sir Gallison probably has one more chance to attack. I think he has a very slight lead here. Punch at 11%. It misses. Raboskis needs to keep swinging just in case. No one's going to swing. I do believe the dragon wins that. 38.4 to 36.2. You know, hitting the 16%. That's what, 1 in 6? Slamming down, lands. 41 guts down. He's got anger, but look at how little it matters. <laughs> oh my god. At least he's got anger, you know. At least he's still in it. Trample. Oh my god, the trample after the slamming down. Down to half health. A single punch still puts him in the lead. This is very similar to what we saw last time, except, you know, he's not... Oh, he goes for the blood suction? No. Alright, GG's. That's so sad. He's trying to put on a show. He's like, it'd be really funny if I hit this. And, you know, I respect that. 8% on punch? We see Colossal will probably take the lead here. Not anymore. He'll still be alive, though. Crit Claw Assault can do it. He doesn't know what to do. He's like, I'm... I'm stymied. Yeah, he gave up. Sir Galaslam. Gonna take that one. Kruger and Raincoat up next. Last episode of the tournament arc. Ash just lost. Ruga. Roboska is still number one in my heart. He's a cool monster. Basics Arrowhead could be a thing. Yeah, it, it is. It's pretty solid. There's people who will run uh, Basics Arrowhead with uh, Claw Pinch for tanks. Raincoat is such like, it's an adorable name for what it is. This is a great monster. Okay, prediction is live. It's got so much personality, you know? We got some Kruger fans. Some Krugerites, if you will. Some Krugerans. What do we got? What do we got? We got 70% on Kruger. All right. Spooky match, my boy. You see, you're Dracula now. Thunderbolt going to do a big chunk of damage. That was the second one, though. I like how when he misses it, he just fires it straight at the ground. That, that's going to land. Oh, boy. That raincoat is big dead. There's actually, I, the One Must Fall uh, icon just reminded me, there's actually a One Must Fall uh, a casual day today. But, you know, I wanted to do it, but I decided the tournament was more important. Especially considering next week's streams are going to be all messed up. Is the Blaze Wall? The Blaze Wall is going to miss. Kruger's got the yellow life. The triple stab miss at 73%. So that was a huge guts lead though. Goes for a rear leg kick. Get a little bit of damage. No, guess not. Everyone, how's it going tonight? It's going well. A lot of fun. You're like kick gonna do about 50%, just a little bit under. I guess closer to like 40%. 40% on the T bolt. It's gonna miss. Kruger's still in it. 17 seconds left. Needs a hit here to advance the next round. Another triple stabs and miss. Raincoat just needs to roll down 10 more seconds and he's taking it to game three. Wow, I stumbled over my words a lot there. I don't know what happened. My brain just shut off. 
The Death Thrust missed this time. Raincoat is going to take game number two. Death Thrust when it misses is so funny. It's just... It's got a very fast animation time. And what's goofy about it is that the opponent can act before the camera snaps back. So... Like, I've I've had comments on my YouTube and stuff that's like, Hey, my, uh, my monster did a death thrust, and the opponent interrupted it before the animation came out. And it's just because, you know, the way that the game's coded. Two death thrust misses in a row on two times is hilarious. Yeah, just burp. Burp. Try it again. Got a whirlwind at 25. It's going to miss. Kruger's in the lead. Goes for a stab throw. Picks him up. Puts him down. Put him down for real. Send the bill later. 858 damage. Going to make Kruger move on to the next round. Mateo and Ruby Rose up next. So this is going to be interesting. They're not going to start in slot 3. Because Durahan is fairly small within the arena. Prediction is live. So that means that we're probably not going to see a Meteor Opener. We're not going to see the potential for a Meteor Opener. They'll have to walk forward a little bit. Maybe they do start in 3. It'll be close. I'm, I'm pretty sure Arrowhead's smaller in the arena, though. 50-50 on the votes. Yeah, they're like just outside the range. You want two matches? I'm so happy. He's still hanging in there. Bob Horseman taking out a fan favorite SMH. I know. I want to play video games. Oh, shit. Just, months, just over a year. Yeah, and just about a year. Just, just over a year. Thank you. Appreciate it, Bagman. Very kind of you. Arrowhead again, all in on Arrowhead. He's got the Zip Zap Zooey on the triple stings. I try out my middleweight Arrowhead with the loadout I mentioned with uh, the basics. Oh shit! Ruby Rose still has that Deathbringer. It's there's potential there. That's one of the only sets that I've uploaded in full. As just like it was six games, just Deathbringer. Six times in a row to win. Deathbringer hurts. It's got 69 force. Which makes it, I think, the third strongest tech in the entire game. Even slash combo is not as strong as it. Slash combo is... Is slash combo 60? Basics and pinch. Yeah, that's... Sad. Anyway, yeah. Double 999. It'll happen. Ruby Rose takes it. Fifth strongest, I think? What are the the five stronger than it? Because at 69, I'm pretty sure it's just Cyclone and Raki's Explosion. Those are the only two techs that have 70 plus force. Is the other Cyclone 70? Duck and Boom's only 50. Duck and Explosion is 50... It's either 60 or 50, but it's not 70. Does 50 Withering. Isn't Ape's thing like an actual nuke? It's 60-something, yeah. I mean, you guys can look it up. I'm the one running in the tournament. You have access to the Googles. Um, okay, Mycidia and Lumber Louie up next. You're thinking of the HM Arrowhead Cyclone, yeah. I, it's still strong, it's like 60-something. Sixty-two. Middleweight Ape. Middleweight Ape is fun. JP's build for it is really funny. With like 200 life. That's good. Uh, okay, so that went to Ruby Rose. Predictions live. Who do you like? 
The Bajaral Hunter. He's got a taste for Bajaral blood. We have eight more matches, and then we're in our top eight. I forgot Dicey was middleweight, yeah. Yeah, it's a good build. Oh, it was welterweight. Yeah, it is welterweight. Um, what's his name? Is Chunky's not dead? Or Chunky's dead? Yeah. Yeah, Chunky's dead is the the middleweight one. I'd be foolish. I can't resist Louis' winning smile. He, he's a nice guy. What do we got on the bets? Sixty-six percent on my Cydia. Who's going to diving press who first? That's what it comes down to. Mycidia actually does have the advantage here because if both monsters attack on the same frame, player one always wins. All right, baby, we're going to game three. Oh, shit, he gets the grit. It's not over yet. All right. Uppercut. He's going to do a lot. Not enough to kill. Mycidia gets power. Into the punch? Alright. That was just uh, a frame 1 KO with extra steps. Par priority in my Monster Rancher? It's more likely than you'd think. We got another diving press. Player 1 SMH. My Cydia takes it. It's a 2-1. That's a very quick three game set. Tiny Matt and let's go bub up next. That was that was just a coin flip, right? Whoever won that one was a coin flip. Tiny Matt and let's go bub. Let go, bub. Let go, bub. Okay, prediction is live. So, my Cydia is one win away from also being in top eight. So, we might have two DAOs in top eight. Very different builds. But DAOs of all monsters. Sixty six percent so far on Let's Go Bub. But as I say that Tiny Matt now has sixty six percent on his side. So we get the smalls. The smalls match. They're both speedy boys. Claw combos are gonna miss at thirty five percent. Oh, Tiny Matt swinging those power attacks. Let's go. Probably wants to stay up close and personal. The Jewel Claw is going to miss for what feels like the first time in the tournament. Maybe the first time in the tournament. He's only been fighting tanks. That's not true. He fed speed monsters round one, right? And he hit it to win. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Yeah, he fought A and E. Yeah, and ended up losing. So Bub is two wins from top eight after losing round one. Can you say the same about Tiny Matt? Tiny Matt's been in losers for a while. Also, seven seconds left. Nobody's landed anything. Who's... I think Go -Wo Bub is going to win on Gats. Oh my god, the fire juggler at the end. I think Tiny Matt's won this. Is this microaggression? <laughs> Look at that. The buzzer beater. The buzzer beater with the gats. He wins it. Game two. Yeah, Tiny Matt won uh, round, lost round one as well. Oh shit, already more damage than we saw in the entire match up to this point. Web throw gonna miss at 40. The Drill Claw, about 50%, it's going to miss there. Two in a row? Unfortunate. 40 seconds left on the clock. Tiny Matt's got a lot of very accurate stuff. 
See another drill claw. He wants to hit it. He wants to hit the drill claw. Weapon. Weapon's gonna miss. Actually, it'd be better for Bub if the weapon hit because it would keep him in slot one. Then build up some guts. Slash claws, 47%. Pretty. That's so many coin flips not landing. Very unfortunate. Fire juggler, 27%. Okay, 10 seconds left on the clock. Bub's got the guts lead. A big hit here will win it for him. Slash claw, probably not going to be enough on a single hit. It misses. Two seconds left on the clock. Goes into turn claws immediately and he lands it. That's going to take it on the 420. That's pretty fucking nice. Let's go, Bub, on the buzzer beater. Swinging to his heart's content. Takes game number two. Game three, here we go. Buzzer beat the buzzer beater. That's, that's certainly a tongue twister. Claw combo 37%. Tiny Matt got that hit in. Didn't do any damage. But it does give him the lead. 40 seconds left. One of the coolest things about Monster Rancher to me is the arena movement meta. Moves that put you in different slots depending on if they hit or miss are so cool. Yeah. Bub is gonna win that. You can use that to your advantage when you're choosing a build, but it obviously works a lot better when it's human control versus AI versus AI. But stuff like Ghost, like Ghost's charge moves him really far out of the slot. So him missing charge means that you're not going to use power attacks again, which if you've got an intelligence build, it's pretty good. Okay. So that means... Let's go... It's a chance to fight for top eight. Granola and Sir Galaslam up next. Tiny Matt will return. Tiny Matt's a good build. He did good. He made a good run through loser, through losers, to get what would that be? Thirteenth. Yeah, I got thirteenth. Homestar Runner voice. Tiny Matt, he, he had the heart of a champion. Tiny Matt. Okay. Prediction is live. Tiny Matt won a dot net. It's dot com. More peace tree bug? It's the only one. There's only one in the tournament. It's the same one from earlier. <laughs> There's only one color Pandora in this entire tournament. 77% on the dragon. Next tiger is going to be called Little Brother. Hell yeah. It's a good name. I was talking about this on stream like a year ago. There's three peach tree bugs here. Is there actually? Where are the other ones? Oh, I... Wow! I'm fucking dumb. Anyway. I got got there. Anyway, there's a match happening. Face attack, gonna land. That's how I feel. Can't believe that got me. I was just so worried about being like rude to somebody who had a peach tree bug who was still in winners or something. I was like, oh no, I don't want to feel, I don't want anyone to feel like I forgot about their guy. Face attack OP, it's pretty good. Triple shots with anger, like how much withering is going to be on this? Nothing. <laughs> Spot rush miss, but they're up close and personal now. Oh, they walk back into trample, Gala Slam's going to take it. All right, we're going to game three. Kind of love Dragon Durahan. The armor's so impractical. You know what this reminds me of? This is like if they did like sexy armor for men. <laughs> like how they always give women in RPGs like boob armor, but then they've got like an open midriff. This is this is like that. Thought the same, yeah. It's like almost bondage gear. Okay, a tail swing, gonna do a little bit of damage there. It should make more sexy armor for men. First time seeing Peach Tree Bug in the remake, somehow it looks less cursed. Oh, 
Spiral Rush gonna miss? Monster Rancher is equal opportunity fan service. I'm sure there's some scaly out there who's like super turned on by this. Sir Gala Slam. Moving on. Kruger and Ruby Rose up next. <laughs> Pixie disagrees, she's so cold. <laughs> Poor Pixie. Thought it looked like some toy dragon with the really shiny plastic armor. Press the button on his back and his helmets light up. Yeah, I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. Like, it, with like the snap on armor, right? He would be like a dragon and then he would come with like the playset and you'd like pop all the pieces on. I totally get what you mean. Okay, prediction is live. Who do you like? We only had 1-2-1 one, one in the entirety of last round, and now in this round it's been nothing but 2-1s. They've all been close. 66% on Ruby Rose. What do we got? Rush Slash gonna miss. Kruger should have high accuracy on those scary attacks. Yeah. Cut in two. Oh, big damage, but he's alive. He's got power. Power Death Thrust. He's in range. He's got rear leg kick up. Wow. Ruby trying to finish him off here. Oh, wow. He, she ran down the power? He doesn't have power anymore, but this is still gonna do a decent amount. Hitting rear leg kick pushes you out of rear leg kick range, which I think is its best attribute. A couple of smashes here could do it. 99% means it's probably not going to miss. Two more. Slash combo 36. Swinging big on 15 life. Two in a row? Oh my god. The rear leg kick for the KO. Didn't take it. I should probably turn off my uh, my steam alerts. Every time I see one pop up, I forget that I need to turn that off. It's been years. Slash combo. Three in a row missed. That's that's unprecedented. That shit never misses. Another smash. Four? Four in a row missed. You know, I'd be playing my odds too if I was Ruby Rose. But unless there's a grit, she's going home. Kruger still in it. Guaranteed ninth place. So, we are one set of matches away from moving on to top eight. We got Gimme Some Sip and Mycidia up next. Gotta love an underdog under horse. Oh no. Is it doing that thing again? Okay, it's working. You guys remember when that would happen, where it would just, like, crash? Okay, so, Horsey won that one. Prediction is live, who do you like here? Tecmo Ante... Teco? Teco? Uh, we call that the Teco. Phone hates me typing. I hate you typing too, don't worry. Me and your phone got that in common. A hundred percent on give me some sip right now. Alright, that's changed. We got most of it on my city. Kruger outright refused to cheat when I was trying to whittle down intelligence. He's a good boy. Well, I mean Tiger is good and Centaur is good, right? They probably start with like plus 80 nature, something insane like that. Forgot Ruby existed, so I feel a little silly for accidentally making and entering a nearly identical monster. It's a good monster though. I want to see this Jill sip to the wind. Sip to the wind, 60% on Mycidia, because they start in Cyclone range. Game two coming up. You love the Bajaro flavor in this tourney? There's quite a few. And by that I mean there's two and the main breed. Yeah, that'll do it. 
debatable win. See, this makes me want to make a speed build instead. Oh, no, yeah. I need <laughs> his body. Oh, bring some towels and some garbage bags. That's an interesting oh, thing. Like, no, okay, shut up, guys. Um, Japan's oh, meta in uh, 2997 is bags. different than ours because it's all they do for the most part. So they have to deal with this shit as is. So um, high speed is like becoming more popular there just because it doesn't instantly lose to Cyclone Golem. But Cyclone Golem is very strong. A lot of people make one life cyclone golems because they just bank on the hit. They also don't drop 100, yeah. Okay, prediction is live. Who do you like? Three hundred percent more of a Gerald than in the other tournaments I'm in. It's true, yeah, yeah. Three three times zero is three hundred percent. That's true. Cyclone Golem, Ripper Kamui, Cyclone Golem. That's kind of yeah. I made a two nine nine seven for Koshin. He got one round in. <laughs> yeah, mine did badly too. And I had a ripper with like the optimized Naga build. So, you know, what are you going to do? 67% on let's go, Bowub. I'm done betting against Wolverine. I made the ripper build, lost to Cyclone Golem round two. I didn't see who I lost to, but I could see that happening to me too. I, I lost round two as well. Does Japan ban any breeds? Metalner. Well, they don't really ban Metalner, but what they do is um, you can't have more than 50 power if you're raising a Metalner. Let's go, Bowub. Gonna take that one. I lost the two Japanese monsters. But what's really funny is I entered that same monster into uh, Mr. Kujira's tournament. Kujira-san, and uh, he got second, like, the week after. And that's a tournament with, like, only the strongest players in Japan, really. Damn. Alright, we're going to game three just like that. Does 50 pe power metal and still win? No. It's just, it stops him from being viable, but you can still enter him as a joke if you want. They don't ban him, they just break his limbs. Yeah, that's basically it. 50 power Metalner is like useless. It's terrible. But it's funny. Which tourney had Cheeseburger? That was Dogra's tournament. Dogra is one of the, the best fighting game turn or fighting game players of all time, and he held a monster farm tournament. And I made Cheeseburger, which is a Balon, and it lost round one. Hell yeah, get him with the rolling claw. That shit takes a hundred years. The Grit's gonna win it for him, though. Yeah, Dogra ran a Monster Farm tournament. And I lost round one against uh, a Naga. But I got a crit stab that did like 700 damage, and he like lost his shit. And he was like, oh! I think everyone saw that I ran a monster with 100 life, and they're like, oh, this guy's got no chance. And then I hit the stab, and they're like, holy shit! I, get, I have the VOD, I should show it. I never uploaded it. Bub's moving on to top eight. We got Mycidia and let's go, Bub. Soft Shell Stew and Sir Galaslam. Dragon fight? Kato's doing great. He is doing great. I think I showed you guys the, like months ago when it happened the Dogra footage, but I, I think I can show it on stream. It's 11 o'clock. Choose outcome. Goes to bub. Okay, prediction is live. I'll pull it up at the end of the stream. 
I should upload it sec- uh, separately. I have the whole training montage done. I just want to like talk over it, do a little bit of a voiceover for it because I think it'd be pretty fun. Very similar stats, very similar stats. Different here is a little bit more speed, a little bit more power. Okay. 56% on Sir Gallus Lamb. Trample at 28%? Big miss. 33 trample. It is higher than 28, to be fair. Sir Gallus Lamb wins game number one. Game two. Now trample at 26. Yeah. Stu's like, I'm not getting hit by that shit twice. Tail whip at 42, that's going to do a good chunk. 163. Tail whip right back. 386. The gut's making a big difference there. Soft shell Stu taking game number two. That's what he do. But now it's game three. Different game. Dragon be like, I'm going to nuke you or die trying. Feel that. Oh, the trample again? No, I do appreciate it. Tail whip miss at 54%. None of them are using tail attack. Just trample. Oh my god, are you serious? Mm, Gala Slam did get the Gala Slam. He's moving on. A slightly more skill helped out. Gave him slightly better odds. 2-1. Big Beat and Kruger for the final play-in to top 8. Alright, GOAT, it's me and you. I gotta stay out of slot 3. <laughs> oh no. Start a prediction, who do you guys like? One Pinch Man is a strong name. That's a good name. Jeremy Wade. <laughs> That's a good one, too. 69% on Big Beat. People are liking my boy. Though he does need to stay out of slot 3. Here we go. A furry photo. It's like a glamour shot. It's really funny. Right. Big Beat with the 30 guts lead, but the life deficit. He uses life as a resource. He doesn't mind getting hit. It's not over for him until he heavy chops. Hiya! Judo Chop! Going to game two. Chop the horse right on the head. Hammerfall is gonna land? I'm sorry, Go. I said they moved into slot three, and Big Beat was like, I am not dealing with this shit. I am just gonna try and end it right now. There's been a lot of really good battles. First time catching one of these live, having fun. Hell yeah. Yeah, I'm glad I, I was able to stream a lot this month, you know. May and June were pretty bad for that. Mm. I had a chip in this glass. I'm going to drink from this side. Any the legend? He might, he might be legendary today. What do we got? 86% on the wall. Terminus are a blast live. Yeah, I think they're a lot better than watching them, uh, the VODs, you know? The, like, community aspect of it, I think, is really hard to duplicate in a VOD. And it's so funny, because the VODs are always, like, my lowest viewed videos, but they always bring in the most money because they are, uh, they're so long, and YouTube throws so many ads on them. Anyway, the two knocks going to take that. Any one win away from going to winner's finals. And you can bet channel points? Yeah. We were talking about Will It Kill earlier, and like, I watch the Will It Kill of odds when I miss them, but it's not nearly as fun as watching it live. For the same reason. Ooh, flattening. A little bit of damage there. Rankin Smog still has 430 life. We got a dragon combo, 38%, maybe? Question mark? Bite's the better play. He goes for the bite. 
Cat Dragon's fur is weirdly colored in comparison to vanilla Kato. Yeah, there's not a lot of consistency. Look at uh, blue Kato versus other tigers. Like, he just has his own shade of blue fur for, like, no reason. Three bites misses the third one. 99 miss. It happened again! Oh my god. Rank and Smog didn't really deserve to win that one, given all the dodges. He was trying his best. There's only so much you can do, though. You can only dodge 99 so many times. Monster Rancher again and Monster Rancher? It's true. It's my first live. I come from YouTube. Literally, my dream was to get in and watch one live. Hell yeah. Well, I'm glad you're here. Glad we all get to watch this together. Alright. Deo and the Hound. Aren't Jesus feeling vengeful tonight? Yeah, he's like, yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna give you hope. That's an omen right there. 299 miss, but a &E still won. Join us in the tournament next time for even more fun. <laughs> he He's right. He's right, but the phrasing on that is very funny. It's like the end of a commercial. Okay, predictions live. Who do you like here? Pretty sure I stumbled onto Nash because of YouTube. Yeah, I, that's why I started uploading the videos. The VODs weren't enough. Ryu! Hello, Ryu. Ryu, for those of you who don't know, uh, won the last uh, Legend Cup tournament. 100 plus man tournament we ran in January. I have a prize for them that I'm still waiting on, but it's being made. Took like 10 months, but a trophy of sorts. The Hound with 70% of the bets. Imagine being like half the 99 misses in one round. I know. I'm relatively sure a lot of people that find the community not knowing there was even a community for the game this ancient. Yeah, for sure. And to this day, I still get comments all the time because I'm like, I understand there's a very small, like a very low ceiling on this content. This isn't like Pokemon. Like I made one fucking Pokemon video and it blew the hell up. 200,000 views and all that stuff. But um, like four times as big as my biggest Monster Rancher video. And it's only been out for like seven months. Yeah, the make cargo video. But uh, Monster Rancher is never going to hit that, right? Like I'm, I'm fully aware of that no matter how good my content is. The only Monster Rancher videos that have that number of views are for people who already have established audiences and are also just like, hey, remember Monster Rancher? It's not a Monster Rancher community. Um, but I still get people every day that are like, oh shit, I didn't realize people still played this game. And, uh, and then they join the community. So, you know, every now and then it feels like it's a... Like, I'm, I'm not making new content for new people anymore, but then I see a comment like that. I'm like, oh, that's cool. The intensity of this game is not for everyone. It's not. We're going to game three just like that. Just like that. Rolling slash 20%. That's going to miss. Ooh, the charge lands. Deo is moving on. So we got Deo and a &E in winner's finals. That's going to be an interesting one. Watching another YouTuber, and I was in the video. Oh. <laughs> Who is that? Oh, is that the game? What is it like? Gaming Productions or whatever? I'm trying to think of who has had me in their videos. Dude, I did a whole fucking interview with this guy for his channel. And he, uh... He just never uploaded the video. He's like, oh yeah, we should do some, like, social proofing. Like, I'll, I'll subscribe to your Patreon, you subscribe to my Patreon, I'll join your Discord, etc, etc. And I was like, yeah, okay. Uh, but then he just never put the video up. So it was like, what the fuck, man? Like... I woke up at like 6 a.m. to do an interview with someone from Japan, and the video just never went up. Gym Leader Ed? Gym Leader Ed, I don't know if he... Did he mention me 
I guess he's mentioned me personally a couple of times. Gaming Productions, nice name. Yeah, they seem like nice guys. I never watched the channel until someone's like, hey, you're in this video. <laughs> I was like, oh shit. <laughs> but yeah, they're pretty cool. Um, okay, so... What's his name? Deo takes that one. And now we move on to losers. We got My City versus Let's Go Bub. I like how there's one tank golem and one speed golem in top 8. Almost like he's a very good monster or something. And you can run him many different ways. They make chill JRPG videos. Yeah, that's from what I've seen, that's what they do mostly. What's funny is I think you're literally the only person, predictions live by the way, I think you're the only person who came from that video and watched me. I got, uh, someone mentioned to me that it was like, oh shit, this video that's like popping off, it's got like 200,000 views in like the last two days, uh, it mentions you. And do you know how many subscribers I gained in that week? Like three. <laughs> it's not true. I, I probably gained like maybe like 100 subscribers in that week, but that's like from my own videos i didn't get a boost at all nobody cared except for you okay what do we got 85 percent on let's go bub sorry to interrupt i know i asked this before but i really want to know what everyone thinks of roll assault on metal i think roll assault is really good on middleweight arrowhead? Yeah. Are we still on Monster Rancher 1? Are we? Oh, oh well. I guess I can change it, but it doesn't matter. The Drill Claw. Let's go, bub. Let's go to top four. Or top six, I guess, if it wins this. My title is Monster Rancher 1. Yeah, I know. Someone just said that. The diving press hits at 30%? Oh my god. I mean, especially in middleweight, roll assaults is amazing. Yeah, 30, 30 cost for a 54 stack is very good. How is UKMR and Monster Rancher line doing in Japan? Monster Farm line is pretty big in Japan. I think it's got 5 million downloads. Um... UKMR, I don't know how well it's doing. Also, the diving press, just it's just going to land. I'm sorry. There's nothing you can do about that. GG's. You and my homies hate diving press. Me too. I don't want to fight that shit. Um, but he wins it. Okay. 2-1. Sir Galaslam and Big Beat. I got to dodge the tramples. I got to walk forward. That's, that's my mind. I got to go forward. I love a new proper Monster Rancher with Monster Farm lines, Monster Variety, and new subs. UKMR's mechanics. That's that's kind of like the best of all worlds, yeah. I think UKMR does a lot of stuff really well. It's a little bit slow. Predictions lie, by the way. It's a little bit slow, but um, the biggest issue for me is just that it doesn't have the Monster Rancher monsters in it, other than, you know, Mochi and Suezo. Monster Rancher 2.5 when? I know. Just put all the monsters in the game. How hard can it be? Game dev is very easy, right? Some faster speed could do it some good. It has a speed up function, but there's still just too much talks. There, I was going to say text and talking at the same time, so I said talks, and that's not a thing. Let's see who brings who home. <laughs> I guess we'll see. Doodle in 4K HD. He'll gain another dimension. Another dimension, another dimension. Another dimension, another dimension. UKMR's flavor text, Monster Farm Lines RNG, the perfect game. That's that's bad juju if I've ever seen it. Slamming down? I'm okay with this. I don't want to get withered, but, you know, I survive it. And I get the anger proc, so. Will the next one be Monster Rancher 5 or 6? It'd be 6. Laser Cutter, 37%? It would have done it. Alright, I don't want to get slamming down again, though. Wing Attack, probably pretty good. Hammerfall, gonna miss at 38%. And of course, he's going to trample. 
That's that's about what I expected. We see a grit, no grit. All right, don't use up your luck yet. We got a whole two other games. Big beat, me and you, baby. Oh, they, they don't want to move? Slamming down is going to hit. Big Beat's going to lose a lot of guts here. No anger this time. What do we see from him, though? Low kick at 58? That's going to do huge damage. Sir Galsheim does not have a lot of life. Tail attack's going to land. That's going to do big damage, too. Oh, fuck. He goes for the laser cutter? He's going to do 48 damage. He's like, fuck this. I'm doing a thousand. Here comes the punch. Miss at 53%. He's going to need a grit here. I don't think he's going to win this. Wing attack hits. Do we see a grit? No grit. It's over just like that. Womp womp. Oh well. Top 8. I'm okay with top 8. I paid out to the wrong people. I'm sorry. It's been a very long time since I've done that. I'm very sorry. Oops. <laughs> Call that, uh... You know, that's host privilege. I know I paid out the wrong side. If you bet on my boy, you got uh, you got the points for for being a believer, even if you got slapped. Luckily, it wasn't a huge bet. It was only like two thousand on both sides. The hound in my city. Okay, prediction is live. Who do you like? Winner of this makes top four. Loser gets sixth place. Like, are things moving up to heavyweight after this is done? I want to build a monster. Don't know any about the upcoming formats. Um, so, yeah, there is going to be a tournament coming out. I don't know if we're going to do welterweight or we're going to do heavyweight, but you guys will have a lot of notice. Like I said, I'm going to be like I've had time off from working quite a bit this month. I haven't worked much this month at all, but I've been spending a lot of time working on uh, like video editing. And then also I've just been busy in general. But for like the next five days, I have literally nothing going on. I'm visiting my parents. So I'm going to plan a bunch of stuff. You guys will know in advance. Okay, what do we got? 77% on the Hound. Build for both. The format is recurring. That's true. All right, the Deathbringer hit. That'll do it. This is going to be hard for my CD to win if he wants to swing Deathbringer. Finish the new Heavyweight Intelligence Tiger. That's pretty cool. No Cyclone this time. We got Rolling Slash. Big damage. Diving Press is going to miss. The Dash Slash, is that going to finish him off? Oh, there's the Grit. He's not out of it yet. Balterweight 50-50 needs his tournament win. I would like to see 50-50 win. Has 50-50 won a set? I don't think he's won a single set. Damage zero. Slash combo. He only needs to do one damage. That miss wasn't impressive. It's true. The Hound is moving on. My city uh, gets fifth place. 2 0. -oh. Buy chips. Sorry. Rankin, Smog, and Sir Galaslam up next. Dragon fight to make top four. I'm pretty happy with making tops top eight tonight. You always want to win, right? But uh, a lot of killers in this tournament. I got some good wins. Beat Oakville, who's really good. I beat uh, Goat's Monster, who is also very strong. Dead Genie's Avenged by Spaceman is one hell of a in the headline. It would be. Okay, prediction is like, who do you like? Tough to win back to back, yeah. 
Seems like the speed guys have this tournament. Uh, yeah, maybe. Unless you have like a, it, it's hard to say because like, Rankin Smog's the last tank in the tournament, right? And he's been doing real well. How many tanks in top eight were there? There was Mycidia, Big Beat, and Rankin Smog. That's it. So three. And one, two. My city of Big Beat and Rankin Smog. Yeah, so five and three. Five speedsters and three tanks. That's not bad. It's a pretty good split. 80% on Gala Slam. Huge fan of Draco Garfield. God damn, dude. Doing it for the tanks. Let's go. Only has to do that one more time. Only has to do it one more time. He hits it. Game two. Slamming down. Okay. So this is a really good move for Sir Gala Slam in this matchup because Rankin Smog has a terrible guts regenerate. Losing all those guts is awful for it. It's not going to be able to attack nearly as much as it wants to. This is the tail attack. Probably wants to stay up close. Wing attack and do a little bit of damage, but Rankin Smog still has the potential to win this. It's not over yet. Tail attack at 58%. What's he going to do? Building up them guts. Going to get hit with the wing attack again, but he's still alive. Bite at 66. Bite's probably the play. Tail attack would kill in one hit. No, he's like, fuck it. <laughs> He knows what he wants. It worked last time. It'll work again, damn it. We're going to game three. Alright, game three. Winner moves on. Trample. And give him the big smoosh. Good damage. And get hooked the tail attack too. 264. Rankin Smog. Goes for another dragon. <laughs> oh, he's like, I, I got one play. I have one thing that made it me. I got here. By doing dragon combo, I'm doing it. You know, why change what you know at this point in the game? He's moving on. Moving on up. Two. Top four. Oh, the Hound and no, Rankin Smog. Your help burying his body. Oh, bring some towels. Cat channeling his, eater, his inner Peter Chris. Heck of a performance there. Tanks can't be beat. Tanks can't be beat, baby. So something I wanted to ask. Pretty sure I've seen you say before that Frantic Rush for Jill is a bad tech, but from everything I can see on it, it should be decent. Is there anything that makes it bad? It seems like it does quite a bit for 19. It doesn't do enough of anything. Like, the fact that it only costs 19 is fine, but it's a very long animation for what it does on hit, and, uh, you know, it's just, it, it's not Jill's worst tech. I'm sure it's better than, like, uh, Clap Attack. Clap Attack's really bad. But, yeah, I don't think it's particularly good. I think he's got better options than the same slot. Okay. Do we do, uh, yeah, we'll do Losers first. We got the Hound and Rankin Smog. So in that regard, maybe a slot 3 withering tech might be possible to play against the frame 1 di diving press. Are you saying plant is the new meta? Prediction is live. Who do you like? Or, maybe not plant. Maybe you go with Baku. Intelligence Baku. Frantic Crush, objectively the best tech is the sound, and he's like crying when he does it. Uh, let's take a look at the numbers real quick, so I can give you my rundown on it. So, yeah, for 19, the force is okay, the hit is only minus 2. It's just, it's a very long animation for like not much damage. That's the only real problem. That's part of what makes it bad. 
Clap attack is like shit. <laughs> Clap attack is a long animation withering tech that does 15 force and only has 16 withering. For the numbers, it doesn't seem bad, but like it just doesn't do anything, you know? It, it's a tech that seems like it should be better than it is. The fact that it's only marginally stronger than double slap is what hurts it. Slap combo at least withers 25. Okay, here we go. 60% on rank and smog. Snowstorm better than Frantic Rush noise-wise. Can't change my mind. I think so too. I could be turned around on uh, my opinion of Frantic Rush, but I don't think it's very good. I think it's the context of it. I think if you're doing stuff in slot 3, you want Ice Wave. I guess if you have power, then you don't have much of a choice. So Slash Com is going to take that. But I think in uh, power, you just don't get anything in slot 3. Frantic Rush has a top tier icon, that's true. That, that makes it worth getting. You make a good point. How go for the T bolt? How much damage are we gonna get on this? 880. Smog gets power. We see power dragon combo. Yeah, baby. It doesn't land though. Yeah, that's probably it. GG's, but that would have been something. We're all Jill Army. Why are we arguing? We're arguing about what's the best. Not like this. But imagine if it hit. He died as he lived. Couldn't have asked for anything better than that. I mean, he could have asked for a win, but outside of a win, what are you going to do? Duo. All right, back to winner's side. We got a &E and Dale. How's my dog doing? He's doing good. Follow him on Twitter, Bacon the Doggers. Or not Twitter, on uh, Instagram and TikTok. Let me, uh, let me actually post that. Does that work? Did I spell it right? I did. God, he's so cute, man. I got the best boy. Need to X about bacon in the talk. Let me go X about it. Okay, so Annie and Dale. Believe the term. Believe the term is zeet. We're zeeting. Did you see the thing where he put up the big obnoxious X that was like a strobe light and it like shined directly into people's houses? So they uh, they called the cops on him and he had to have it taken down. Prediction is live. Make your bets. You know, the craziest thing about Elon Musk, the most depressing thing about him is that he could have just not had a public profile and people would still be on the whole, like, Musk is a genius train. But he opened his mouth and now everybody knows it's not true. All he had to do was keep his ego in check and he'd be fine. People would think that he's the world's greatest inventor, you know? A and E versus Deo. Deo is 66%. Man's a case statement on how to ruin your public persona. Yeah. Charge misses. Spike Bite's gonna miss at 35%. Musk has a humiliation fetish. 100% guaranteed. I could see that. Yeah, I think Musk... Like, he's obviously got some sort of of intelligence at some level right but like he's got absolutely no social skills and the more it comes down to him like talking about like his website and stuff it seems like the things he's good at might actually be like significantly more like compact than people thought at first also the cycle is gonna hit at 28 oh my god dale moving on to grands baby 
Holy shit. Really like their golems, but I hate what they did with their animations in two. Their animations were so good in one. I uh, I like them in two a lot more. I think they have a lot more weight behind them. He's what happens when no one ever tells you no. That yeah, that's the feeling I get. Just like how no one told Deo that he's not allowed to land Cyclone at 28%. So because of that, he's in grand finals. A and E and the Hound up next. Killing genies makes you strong. It's true. You get their souls and their pots. I think Musk has some level of intelligence, but he's in that awkward middle area where he's smart enough to not be a complete idiot, but not smart enough to realize he's not a prodigious genius. Yeah, I think if Musk has a skill, to give him like full benefit of the doubt, if he has a skill, it's probably choosing people who are better than him to do stuff, which is a genuine skill, especially in business, being able to pick and choose the people around you. Um, but I also feel like when you have that much money, you don't really need to try too hard to do that. You know, prediction is live. It doesn't take a lot of effort when you're just like, find me the best guy that money will buy. Right. Like, it doesn't take much effort at that point. But you're like, he has to be doing something right to a certain extent. Right. I don't I'm not I don't ascribe the whole or ascribe, subscribe to the whole idea that it's like, oh, they got money, they must be doing something right. It's like there's so many fucking rich fail sons out there. Uh, we were talking about Frank D'Angelo on the channel a little while ago. Uh, Frank D'Angelo is a guy who is famous in Ontario specifically because he bought shit tons of hyper expensive uh, ad time during hockey games. And his claim to fame is that his dad had like a grocery store or like a vegetable wholesaler and he gave it to his son and his son immediately ran it into the ground. But he's got so much fucking money that it doesn't matter. So he started advertising and the things he was advertising were like an energy drink called Cheetah. And he hired Ben Johnson, who was a track runner who got caught cheating and the tagline was, I cheetah all the time, which is very funny. But, like, that shit sunk. And then he had a brewery called Steelhead Brewery, and that shit went under. He had to sell it at, like, a massive loss. And then he put out, like, a Christmas album. And he's, like, made a million movies, and none of them have made any money. And it's, like... He seems like a huge fucking moron. Like, how does he keep getting the money to do this stuff, right? It's very funny. But it's just like... That's hysterical. I know, it's actually really funny. But, uh, like, perfect example of the adage of like, well, he's rich, he must be doing something right. Just absolutely not holding any water, you know? Yeah, I don't think Musk is completely incompetent as rich people go. If I ruined his public image, I actually had respect for the guy. I think that's how most people feel, right? If he had just kept his mouth shut, he could have quietly been a revered genius, you know? But he opened his mouth and removed all doubt, as the saying goes. Slash combo, 21%. And he cannot really get out of the way of anything, eh? The triple flattening miss. Oh, no. The wall's falling apart. Sicilian Vampire, that's what D'Angelo directed, a real stinker. He, he did a couple. He's got more than one, which makes it much funnier. He technically owns a production company. <laughs> oh, the charge, that's big damage. Two charges? This is the second one. Bezos will forever remain in, hidden in a cave made out of gold. He's doing it right. He's got his money, he's got his like yachts on yachts. And, uh, you know, he's just hiding. Punch combo gonna miss. Dash slash gonna miss. One second left on the clock. A and E has a chance. Goes for the knock on the buzzer beater. It's gonna land. A and E hangs in there. 60 life for the whole game. Figure out who I bet for. Did you bet for anybody? A and E takes game number one. A and E making me sweat. You don't need another tournament win. <laughs> oh, the foolery? And he just stands there. That is such a BM move. Like, 
Hmm. I'm just gonna watch you get confused. Not do anything about it. Slash combo 21 is gonna miss. I love how Metal Glory has a little alien piloting a suit of armor. Rolling slash, that's absolutely gonna kill. Oh, what? Didn't do enough damage. He's still in it. The Guts Correction really helped him out there. Charge doing big damage. Another one? Flattening, what do we see? Flattening a 58 gives him the smoosh. We're going to see a rematch. We got a &E and we got Deo in Grand Finals. Something really funny and not disrespectful about seeing Charge do that much. Charge, the fact that it's called Charge, I think is one of the best jokes in this entire game. All right. Dale. Danny has too much armor to take advantage of that foolery. It's true. He's a gentleman, yeah. Should be called Swivel. It's such a good name for the move. And he follows the Bushido. <laughs> yeah, he does. All right. Start a prediction. Who do you like? Charge versus UKMR slot 3 charging and teleport moves with C force and A to S hit rate. This is the real charge. All right. Prediction is live for this. This may be the last chance we get to bet. Get your. So, uh, you know what? I'm actually going to stop it. I ended it. Y'all got your points back. We're going to do a minute long bet. What we're betting on is this specific match. If a &E resets the bracket, i.e. it beats Dale and they'll have to fight a second time, we will do a second bet. Two speedsters in finals. We heavyweight now. Yeah, we had five in top eight. Three in top four. They slowly got whittled down. You believe in the press? This man believes in the press. We got 62% so far on Deo. People are believing in the press, I think. Come on, Annie, dodge the cyclone. He should be able to. You'd think he'd be able to, right? You'd think. Okay, 57% on Annie as things close. Cyclone at 28%. Is he going to swing it? Not this time. Oh, he does. All right, Dale on tournament point. Actually, no, it'd be three out of five. We, we always do three out of five for grands. Okie dokie. Okay, he missed one. The needle status is gonna miss. I like how one of the needles comes out of his eye. Oh, we get some with the bite. All right, game three. Flying pots, pots, pots. Flying pots, pots, pots. The animation of it, like, oh my god, another spike bite lands, and he one hit away from resetting bracket of how it like rebuilds him is like so static and it's so funny. Hit rates are just numbers. Hilarious speeds for battles in 2997. Like how Spike Bite got so close before actually biting that it feels like collision damage should apply. Oh my god. Okay, he's got the grit, he's still alive. Do we see Spike Bite at 35? Misses that one. Ooh, hits the charge. 248 on the crit. Big damage. Dale goes for the punch at 37. It's gonna miss. And he's got half the match still to take this back. Oh, he's gonna get smoked with the charge. 45%. Okay, Dale now on tournament point. Ao on Aony. Ao. Ao versus Dale. Daeony, even. That's the ship. 
Deo needs to win this to win the whole tournament. Annie needs to win this to reset the bracket. Charge is going to miss at 45%. Annie with a pretty big gut. So he goes for the needle stabs. Has not landed that. Where did he go? He's just, he turned like the wrong direction afterwards. Well, turn your back on your opponent. Brow hit at 38%. That's going to swing and miss as well. Annie with about a 20 guts lead. Pushes him back. He's in two knocks range. 60% on this. But he misses. Deo now with almost 50 guts. So you can do charge at 50%. That's going to hit. And that's going to be it. The cyclone and the charges. That's all it took. Deo is your champion. He wins that one without a reset. He did not lose to a single monster. What a match. What a tournament. We just have a Dao. <laughs> won the whole thing. Not even a good golem. The pot taker won. The pot taker took the pot. He won. He won the whole thing. Let's take a look. We're end the tournament. Take a look at the standings real quick. Take a look at our top eight. Wait a minute. What am I looking for? I'm looking for desktop here. All right, GG's everyone. This was a lot of fun. We got Dale with a six and zero, Annie with a five and two, and the Hound with a five and two. Rankin Smog with a four and two, Sir Gallus Slam, and Mycidia in fifth place, five and two and four and two respectively. And then Big Beat, man, <laughs> I had to win the least amount to make top eight. I'll take it. Let's go, Bub, making a four and two, making the hell of a losers run. Very cool. Super fun tournament. Always look forward to it. Yeah, me too. Thought the trophy was a big pot and decided to take it. That's that's why he did it.